What's going on, brothers? It is your dude, International Passport, here again for another classic live stream. How's my audio, brothers? Um, press a one in the chat. If you can hear me loud and clear, brothers, how's my audio? How is my audio? Mayday, mayday. How's my audio, brothers? Can y'all hear me loud and clear? Shout out to Rob T. Shout out to uh, Matumbo Dibui, uh, Jonathan Hahn, Michael, Mike Lawrence. Um, thank you, brothers. Thank you very much. So welcome, brothers, to another live stream. I hope you brothers are doing well. Um, I'm International Passport. Um, first and foremost, brothers, please get the likes up. Uh, please support the channel. Hit the cash app. Of course, support the channel via the Patreon if you want extra benefits. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, yep, shout out to my old subscribers for supporting the channel over the past few years. And welcome aboard the new subscribers. You're joining a very powerful movement called the International Passport Movement. Why encourage brothers to invest in stocks, uh, uh, crypto, travel, get foreign women, and of course, uh, live a great life. In this live stream, brothers, we're going to have a, a very open discussion here um, regarding something that's going around recently. Um, shout out to Nate Kelly. Shout out to Jay Bones. What's up, Jay Bones? Been a minute, bro. Uh, shout out to Conrad Grant. Been a minute, too. Hope, hope you brothers are doing good. Um, let's get straight into it, brothers. Um, the topic of this stream is if you are, if you are a lame in America and can't get women, are you a lame when you travel? Now, over the past few weeks, I've been hearing uh, a lot of discussion, you know, as, as black men start breaking out the matrix and traveling and seeing that there's more uh, to black women uh, than Keisha from the block, you know. Um, people are seeing this. People are becoming more aware that educated brothers the brothers that they grew up with, the brothers who wore big glasses, who came to college classes wearing suits, <laughs> who came to college classes, you know, wearing a, a dress shirt, you know, couple chinos and nice shoes, you know, not wearing Jordans, right? Basically the lames, you know, the lames of the communities, right? They're seeing brothers making all this money, traveling all around the world and living great lives. Case in point, Zoom to Thailand, you know? He's a perfect example, successful in Hollywood, successful in the entertainment build uh, uh, business. He's in Thailand now dealing with a feminine Thai woman, you know? And people are seeing this. And now, one common trope that I'm seeing amongst the haters amongst people who you know who criticize brothers for traveling to to obviously deal with better women they're saying that these brothers are lames you know and one common point they love saying is that you know if you're a lame in america if you can't get women in america what makes you think that you get a woman abroad you know it's like is that true is that true? Is that false? And in this stream, we're going to break down that important question. Once again, if you are a lame in America and you can't get women, how are you able to travel and get women? I'm here to tell you brothers and people that are watching that that is completely false. You can be a lame in America. You can have nothing in America. But when you travel, you can get the dime woman. You can get the eights, nines, and the tens easily. Easily. You know? Because when you're out that American environment, when you have a new environment, when you deal with a, a whole bunch of new women, when you are in a new environment, a new culture, it is it's different. You're more confident. I'm hearing from brothers that, they find it very hard to approach American women because the attitude they give up, right? The energy they give off, the attitude that they give up 
these silly American women. Brothers are scared to approach them. Brothers are scared to approach Western women, you know? And because brothers don't approach these Western women, Western women see them as weak, as lames, you know? If you can't approach women, how you get to women in the first place? Well, let me tell you Western women this, right? When brothers travel, women are more open to being approached, you know? Case in point, J Japan, you know? We've had a couple Japanese streams where brothers have confirmed that if, if a Japanese woman wants you, she will stare you down. She will have eye contact for you. She won't look away. Those are clues for brothers to approach, you know? Now, is the Western woman doing that? Is the Western woman giving you clues to approach her? Is the woman in America... The women in the UK, are they giving you clues to approach them, brothers? Hell no. You know? You know, these women go about their day, right? And they expect you to approach them without giving any choosing signals. Without giving any choosing signals. How can you expect brothers to approach you when you got a stank face, you have your earphones in, and you ain't giving no choosing signals? But when we go abroad, the women there are giving us choosing signals, you know? Another point is, when brothers go abroad, brothers break out their shell. Brothers break out their shell. In America, brothers aren't able to be themselves. Brothers are not able to express who they truly are. You know, but when they go abroad, when they when when they're in Japan, that's not a case anymore. You know, they're able to live freely. They're able to uh, tell people that yeah, I watch anime, I read manga, I'm a, 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 I'm a goddamn nerd, and they won't judge you for that. But you tell a Western woman that you're a nerd, she gonna look at you funny. She gonna look at you funny right on the spot. Is that what brothers want, you know? And even if you are a lame in America, even if you are a lame in America, guess what, brothers? You can live a second life abroad, you know? There are many cases where I've read stories where men, couple brothers, right, have, are, are living awful lives in America. You know, they're not, they can't live prosperously in America. But when they, go, when they go abroad, it's like a fresh new start. It's a fresh new start for brothers, you know? And this trope where we're lames because we're traveling to get women, it's, it's crazy, you know? It is it's crazy the attacks that we get just to live better lives, just to deal with better women. So what if we travel to get women? There is nothing wrong for a man to travel to find a wife or a girlfriend. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If the women in my community are not putting up, if they're not being feminine, if they're not being submissive, if they're not being FBI, feminine, beautiful, inspirational, shout out to Kevin Samuels, you know? If they ain't that free criteria there, we must look somewhere else. We must look somewhere else. It, it's crazy how, you know, we're, we're being called uh, all these terms, passport brothers. Passport brothers are being attacked from all different areas of the world right now. Because they're seeing brothers live with joy abroad. They're seeing people like Zoom to Thailand live like a king with no, with no worries, no stress, you know? They're seeing that and they're not happy. They're not happy, brothers. They're not happy. Now, brothers want to keep, keep talking about game this, game that. Now, what you brothers see as game in America it's different abroad, you know? Like I told you, brothers, there are some countries where women will approach you every day. 
women are approaching you, brothers. Tell me the last time you got approached by a woman in America. Tell me the last time where a woman in the UK approached you. That's not happening, brothers. Women in the West, they feel too arrogant and too big to approach you, you know? Then you've got to bring in game. Please tell me what this game uh, thing is. What is game, you know? You're telling me that i got to say certain words, i got to spit certain words, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to, you know, do, to do all this thing just to get a woman to come out with me. Is that is that what game is? It's crazy. A, a, a lot of brothers are so fixated on this game stuff. What is game? Are y'all talking about Game Boy? Are y'all talking about PlayStation right now? Are y'all talking about FIFA? Someone please tell me what game is, because when I go abroad, I don't need no game. <laughs> I, I don't need no game. All I do is I approach... I told them, I think you look good. I'm from the UK. Um, do you mind taking me around your city? Are you free for coffee tomorrow? And that's it. If you have to speak to a woman more than five minutes just to get her to go out with you, brothers, you, brothers, that ain't, that, that's not happening. That's not happening abroad. That ain't happening. That's not happening abroad, brothers. God damn. You know? A lot of brothers, I, a lot of brothers in the UK, I see them approaching women, you know, spitting game. Hey, Charlie, uh, you look good right now. Blah blah blah, and she don't even look bothered. She doesn't give any eye contact. She's looking at her phone, looking at her shoes, looking at her handbag. You know. So, brothers, please tell me what this game thing is, because if you have to wear expensive clothes. If you have to wear expensive shoes, a gold chain, a gold teeth, looking like a goddamn rapper from the 90s, you know, 50 Cent, all that nonsense, that, that's not it, brothers, you know? It's crazy. And that's the point right there, brothers. You're breaking your back for women who are not worthy uh, for you in any shape or form. I don't need game when I go to Germany. I didn't need game when I went to Morocco. I damn sure didn't need game when I went to Sweden. Hell, they came to me, man. <laughs> they came to me, brothers. I keep telling you, brothers, I went to Germany. A woman bought me a drink, bought me a drink. Within the first two minutes of me being in the club, ain't no woman bought me any drink in the UK. And I've been clubbing. I've been to different bars, different clubs. No woman right, has bought me a drink in the UK, but in Germany, I touched down there, she, she buying me a drink, you know, she look at me, one-on-one uh, -on -one eye contact, and that's it, bro, that's it, bro, where you from, who are you, and that's it, you know, so if you're a guy who has no so-called game in, in uh, America, you don't need game abroad. If you're a lame in America, okay, you also are not a lame abroad. Again, you're in a different environment. You're in a different culture, okay? Western culture is different from Eastern culture, different from Caribbean culture, South American culture, right? You can take the most nerdy-looking brother, right? Take him to Colombia take him to Costa Rica, he will get a lot more play than he got in the UK, right? Brothers who are socially inept, brothers who can't speak to women in the West, can we blame them, brothers? You know? Can we blame, can we blame them? A lot of brothers lack confidence because, guess what? Women in the West are horrible, right? So many brothers I speak to tell me, hey, IP, I can't speak to these American women. They're, they're so rude. You know, they're so rude. They don't. They don't want to speak. You know, you you uh, you have to cash up them. I'm here. You you uh, you you have to cash up women to speak to them. You have to cash up women to speak to them in America right now, just to take him out on a date. What kind of 
foolery is that, brothers? What kind of foolishness is that? You know, that's not happening abroad. That is not happening abroad. <laughs> this, this, this concept of, you know, if you are lame, if you, if you can't get girls in the West, in America, you won't be able to get girls uh, abroad. That's false. That is false. You know, I know brothers in the UK who have been struggling to get a good girlfriend in the UK. They travel abroad and they're dealing with eights, nines and tens. And you could you could categorically call those brothers names because those brothers were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! We're playing Beyblade, watching anime, blah, blah, blah. So they, you, you could call them lames, right? They don't know how to speak to women in the UK. But when they go abroad, they're more confident. They're out their comfort zone. Because if you mess up in Tokyo, who cares? Ain't nobody in Tokyo know who you are. Ain't nobody in Tokyo knows who you are. So why are you scared to approach women? Why are you scared to be yourself? Why are you scared to look in the eye and tell you, hey, mama, hey, Charlie, I want you. Hey, mama, hey, Charlie, I want you. You know? Pump your chest out. Let these girls know that you mine. I want you. I'm going to take you home tonight. You know? That confidence will ooze out. And that's why I'm telling you, brothers, to get your passports. You know? Whenever I travel, I'm confident because I'm in I'm in a new city. Nobody knows who I am, you know. No one knows who I am. I'm just a, a normal brother, you know, you know, in a new environment. So I can I can say what I want, I can do what I want. So why are you brothers scared to approach when you're abroad? Why are you scared to look a lady in the eye and tell her, yeah, hey, baby, come here. Come come stand right in front of me. I want to speak to you. You know, that kind of masculine approach won't fly in the West because the West is a feminist hellhole. The West is a feminist hellhole. You know, the West has made men lose their confidence. When, when you lose your confidence, you ain't getting no girls. You ain't getting no girls if you're, if you're not confident. You know, essentially, you're a lame. And it's okay to be a lame in America. Because I'm telling you, brothers, use America to build your wealth. I don't want you to date American women no more. I don't want you to date UK women no more. I want you to avoid Western women, particularly from America and the UK. I want you to make your money in America and live like a king abroad. Become wealthy in the West, make your money in the West, and of course, and of course, date foreign women. You know, if you're a brother and if, if people are calling you a lame, if people have called you a lame all your life, trust me, when you go abroad, you're not a lame, you're a king abroad. You're a king abroad. Press a one in the chat if, if you've ever been called a lame. If any woman has called you a lame because you ain't got no girls, press a one in the chat right now. You know? I know there'll be a lot of brothers that they've been attacked, whether it's by members of their family. Hey, you don't get no girls, bro. You don't get no girls, bro. What the hell are you doing? Ain't nobody messing with you. Friends, family, telling you that you are lame. But then when you go abroad, you are king. I've seen it plenty of times. Case in point, case in point, those white boys. You ever see those nerdy white boys, pimples on their face? Uh, look like they haven't showered in two years, you know, wearing dirty clothes. Do you think Becky... Is going to deal with a white guy like that? Hell no. You think Becky from Los Angeles, uh, Becky from, um, you know, uh, New York, LA, San Diego, she ain't going to mess with a white dude like that. But when that white dude goes to Japan, 
or he's, he, he, he can get a Japanese chick. He can easily get a dime Japanese chick. You know why? Because he's in a different environment. One main reason is because he's, he's in a different environment. And that's why I'm saying, brothers, you know, you can be the, nerd, the nerdiest looking brother and you can still get dime woman abroad. You can be a lame, you know, you can be a lame right now in the West, but you can be abroad. When you go abroad, you're a king. You know? Let me read a couple of super chats. Um, brothers, can we please get the likes up as well? That would be great. Thank you very much. Um, shout out to Mr. Jonathan Hahn uh, for the $199 super chat. We aren't lame. We just aren't delusional. Facts. Facts. If if we have checked ourselves out, the dating market in the West, it don't mean we're lames that can't get women. You know, that's what people don't understand. We are we are voluntarily, we are voluntarily right avoiding women in our community and Western women. You know, when I'm on the train every day, when I'm on the bus, I pay the UK women no mind, no eye contact nothing they don't exist to me the only time i interact with uk women is at work dating they don't exist to me i'm only after foreign women i'm biding my time so when i start traveling again i'm gonna get me another dime foreign chick i don't pay them no mind that don't mean i'm a lame if i check out the dating scene i don't want to deal with western women no more Keep those devils away from me, you know? Keep those evil, wicked devils away from me. Shout out to Pat Do It. Shout out to you, brother, for the $10 Polish coins, PLN. Um, you need game overseas too. They have standards. Okay, brother. Um, I know you're overseas right now, so please call in, brother, to speak on that. Um, I personally didn't need to game any woman when I was abroad it, it was a simple hey I'm international passport I'm here for a week um where are you from I'm from here I'm from Berlin okay do you mind showing me around um we can possibly get coffee too I'm from London so I might get you tea if you're interested in that too yeah hey sure yeah when are you free I'm free on Thursday fantastic that's all that, that was it brothers that's not game that's me just talking to a, another human being that's a female, right? Shout out to Pat Do It for the, for the super chat. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Um, shout out to Conrad Grant for the $2 super chat. Hi, IP. Happy Friday. I'm blessed making power moves. Lovely to see that, Conrad Grant. Thank you, brother, for the support. Much appreciate, brother. Thank you. Brothers, can we please send in more super chats as well? Can we send in more cash apps? And... Um, I strongly advise you brothers to join the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon is doing very, very well, actually. I had uh, eight consultation calls for brothers who wanted to join IT. So please uh, join the Patreon, you know, if you want to be a part of that movement. I dropped the Cuban explicit stream uh, on the Patreon about Cuban women. Cuban women are freaks. They are freaks. So if you want to hear how freaky Cuban women are and how to get them and how they are in the bedroom, join the Patreon, okay? Now, um, shout out to Thomas Demihin for the two pound super chat. What's up, Thomas? That's the brother right there, the legend. Shout out to you, Thomas. He says, uh, we are Renaissance men, foreign women cherish that. Yes, indeed, you know? Foreign women cherish that, you know? They cherish that. And we good over here, man. You know, we brothers are thriving every day. We good over here. Uh, shout out to Thomas Demihan. Appreciate you, bro. Um, let's see. Shout out to Jonathan Hahn again for the $199 super chat. Why run game? Confidence is a new game. That's a very good point. Oh, I like that, bro. You know? Confidence is all you need. Confidence is all you need. Eye contact, you know. Stand up straight. Be firm. Look her in the eye. Speak. Speak clearly. Speak slowly. Hey, 
I'm this. Are you free tomorrow? I'm from America. Can you show me around? You know, laugh. And that's it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> then when you meet her up, talk about TV shows, favorite, mo favorite movies, favorite songs, favorite artists, blah, blah, blah. Tell her that you really vibe with her and there's a connection there and you like her. And that's it, brothers. You know, confidence. That's all you need. Thank you, Jonathan Hahn. Much appreciated, bro. Uh, let's do this. So shout out to um, shout out to Born Again Ryzen for the $10 super chat. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Appreciate the support, Born Again Ryzen. Thank you, brother. It means a lot to me. Thank you, bro. You're a legend, brother. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, brother. Um, let's see. Let me scroll down for some more super chats. Okay. Um, shout out to... Uh, hold on. Hold on, brothers. Shout out to Intellect for the $5 super chat. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Intellect. Thank you, brother. It means a lot to me. Um, shout out to uh, Black Wolf uh, for the $10 super chat. Uh, by game, they mean do you make tingle in all the right ways? Western women base everything on lust, which is why they fell in the long haul. Yeah, and that's why we ain't dealing with Western women no more. You know, that's why we ain't dealing with Western women no more. Um, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, Black Wolf. Um, shout out to Ransom McKissick for the $2 super chat. Uh, taking um, taking bar exam in July. Columbia, here I come. Can't wait, brother. Hope you pass your exam in flying colors and hope you become a lawyer, brother. Uh, can't wait, brother. Cannot wait. Let's do this. So, um, Carrying on the stream, so I'm, 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 I'm going to speak for 10 more minutes before I open up the phone lines. I know brothers want to chime in on this, so five, 10 more minutes before, uh, before I open up the phone lines. Now, just to, just to emphasize on the point more, okay? You may be a lame in America right now. People may classify you as a male. Your classmates, your family members, your friends, because... You ain't got a rotation of bees. Let me repeat that one more time. You may be called a lame right now, okay, in America, because you do not have a rotation of American woman. And that's okay. Embrace it. Embrace being called a lame. Because our plan, our agenda, is not to wife up a Western chick. Our agenda is to use and make money in America, right? Use it to fund a bigger purpose. That's working remotely, which is why I'm telling you brothers to join the Patreon because I'm pushing that remote work. There's a lot of IT jobs that I know, IT careers that I can help you brothers get into but that's only for the patron, all right? So when you're in America, use its resources to fund your travel abroad. Work remotely. You can only do that via IT, okay? On my Patreon, I am mentoring a lot of people in regards to their IT careers. I'm having calls every day. And I want you brothers to join in on this movement before it's too late, okay? So I'm telling you brothers to join the Patreon, right? And then when you travel abroad, you will never be a lame when you're earning 100K working uh, a high paying IT job with your dime foreign girlfriend or even a rotation of dime foreign girlfriends. Ain't no reason why you shouldn't have five Japanese girlfriends, you know? Ain't no reason why you shouldn't have five five Colombian or five Costa Rican girlfriends. If you're into polygamy, have as much girlfriends as you want, you know? So 
ain't no lame in our movement. We're not lames for traveling to these other countries. And another thing that I'm saying is that, oh, these brothers only travel to poor countries to exploit poor women. What the hell is going on? How do we travel <laughs> to exploit women when they come to us? <laughs> you know, the hate that we are getting right now is ridiculous. They're saying that us brothers travel to date poor women. What? You're telling me that because certain women earn less than us, it means that we only want to date poor women. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. You see how they want to control who brothers date? If, if, you, if you don't want to date this Oxford, this MIT, Massachusetts, this NYU uh, Colombian graduate because she's too strong, you want to date weak women. That's another thing. Because I've, I've told you brothers, I think I've told you brothers before, I don't date highly educated women, right? So if she's been to Oxford, Cambridge, New York, New York University, uh, MIT University, um, Stanford University, UCLA, I avoid women from those universities. Please do not date women that go to top universities. If she has graduated or if she is currently studying at a top 30, even a top 35 university, keep Claire away from those type of women. Let me tell you why. They have been poisoned by feminism, all right, in these high-ranking institutions. They've been trained to hate men. They've been trained not to appreciate the hard work and building men have done. You know, it's crazy. So guess what? I don't date women from top universities. People have called me weak for that. Oh, IP, you can't handle a very smart, educated woman. Oh, IP, how can you say you won't date a woman from um, Stanford University? How dare you, IP? You know, you only want weak women. Yeah. Facts. I don't want to deal with strong, independent women. I don't want to deal with strong, independent women. I don't want to deal with strong willed feminist independent woman. I will tell you that to your face. If that makes me a brother who does who's weak, I don't care. I want peace in my life. I want peace in my life. And it, you, you, there cannot be two masculine figures in a relationship. One must be masculine and one must be feminine. Right? So I ain't dating no woman from top universities because they're very masculine. I've been around them. I've dated uh, a few back in the day. They were horrible to date. Or oh, I have a degree from King's College. Or oh, I did my master's at Harvard, you know? So you can't tell me this. You can't tell me that. I have my degree from here. It, nah, man. No. No. God, no. 2022... We're only dealing with feminine women. So don't feel bad if your girlfriend works at Starbucks, you know? Don't feel bad, you know? Don't reject a woman if she works as a cashier in Walmart. Trust me, you will get a peace of mind. I would rather date a woman that's feminine, submissive, and works in Walmart than a high-flying six-figure earning, um, Harvard-educated female lawyer. That's because I want peace. Yeah, she's making 100K, but she ain't bringing me no peace in my life. She ain't cooking for me. She ain't rubbing my back. She ain't washing my toes. She ain't massaging me, you know? She ain't being feminine for me, you know? And... A lot of you brothers have been trained to go after these um, high-earning uh, college graduates, female graduates. Keep away from them. Keep away from them. Shout out to uh, Joshua Epps for the $199 super chat. 
Women who are career driven are not wife material. That's facts, bro. That's a hundred percent facts. Women who are career driven are not wife material. Women who, um, uh, women who are what's it called? Um, women who, women who go to these top universities, avoid them. Toxic. Toxic. Go for cashier woman. Go for women who uh, who have gone to mid universities. I would rather date a HR lady over a lawyer. I would rather date a woman that works as a receptionist over a female doctor. You know, does that make so that you're telling me my preference makes me weak? Because I can't handle a strong woman. I'm a lame right now. Bro, I don't care. I don't care what people say. Because I have peace now. I'm at peace with myself. Right? You find that women who work these receptionist jobs, women who work in HR, women who work in Walmart, in Starbucks, they're, they're, they're more feminine than career uh, driven women. They're more feminine than lawyers. They're more feminine than doctors. They're more feminine than so-called boss, boss babes, boss woman, bad bees, boss bee. Man, get the hell out of here with that, brothers. Get the hell out of there with that, brothers. Get the hell out of, uh, out of that with, with that nonsense. Why the hell would I date that? Who are you to tell me that you're a boss B? You're a boss babe. You are you uh, uh um you uh, you a badass B. Keep that away from me, man. How is that gonna? What is that bringing to our relationship, lady? Tell me, how does you being a boss B benefit our relationship? I don't care if you're a boss B. I don't care if you earn one hundred and twenty k as a lawyer. I don't care if you have six businesses. What I care about is, are you feminine? Are you submissive? Right? Are you feminine? Are you submissive? Do you give me a peace of mind? Do you cook every day for me, even after you come back from work? Yes, I expect you to work a nine to five job. But when you come back home after your job, you must cook for me. I want that rice and peas. I want that rice, peas, and jerk chicken on that plate. <laughs> I want that. I want that mac and cheese on that plate. You know, I want those collard greens on that plate by seven when I'm when I'm home. Yeah. So yeah, you can be a, a a career driven lady, but that's my requirements if you want to be in a relationship with me. Where's that mac and cheese? Where's that jerk chicken and and uh, rice? You know, bring that to me. I ain't playing no games, brothers, man. A lot of you brothers giving these women too much leeway. Oh, I work this. Oh, I earn this much money. Oh, if you don't date me, you're a lame. You can't handle strong women. Yeah, I'm a lame. I embrace being a lame. And brothers, it's time for us to start embracing being a lame. Embrace it. Embrace it. Damn. Let me check the likes real quick. Oh, no, no, those likes, man. Oh, man. Brothers, can we please get the likes up? And let me check my cash app real quick because I, I might start singing some Justin Timberlake songs right now. You know? I'm, I'm giving you brothers five minutes to get the likes up. Let me check my phone. Get those lights up, brothers, man. If I open up the phone lines, let me check the cash out real quick. All right, who's who's supporting the channel? Wonderful. Shout out to Mr. Nate Kelly uh, for the two pounds five pence uh, cash app. Thank you, brother. Uh, for passport bros, not lames. We're just awake. Yeah, we're just awake. You know, being being um, detaching ourselves from the matrix and not dealing with Western women. That don't mean we're lames. That means we don't want to deal with you horrible women, you know? And all you women out there saying that we travel to only date 
pure uh, a poor woman screw you screw you you know um shout out to mr frank harris the legend for the seven pounds 51 uh cash app we bow down to no one yes indeed we bow down to no one we bow down to no one you know i want that mac and cheese on that table by the time i get home and i, I don't care if you work a nine to five job take some lucas aid get that energy in and start cooking me some food shout out to intellect oh thank you brother 20 dollars super chat thank you brother for the support hey yo shout out to intellect he's supporting tonight brothers please follow his lead and support the channel you know this is my seventh year on youtube giving you brothers this intel and there's going to be a lot more crazy intel coming on the patreon you know there's going to be financial streams once a week on the patreon that i'm setting up that will allow you to see what stocks to invest in what crypto to invest in um it career advice one-to-one one-to-one uh, mentorship with me and from me regarding your careers Join the diamond tier, brothers. Very cheap. Support the channel, man. Support me, brothers. You know, we got the Cuba and the Ruba stream coming this weekend. You know, how many countries have I given you Intel in? So I'm asking you, brothers, please cash up, super chat, and join the Patreon, right? Join the Patreon, please. Thank you. He says here, uh, crazy how they say we only want poor women when they won't be with men who make less than them. Whew. Facts. This brother right here broke it down easily. That's facts. All ethnicities of women are hypergamous. Whether American or Colombian, compared to my income, she'll be poor. Yeah, you know? It's crazy. You know, they won't date poor men, but they get, they get angry when... Uh, we want it, we only want to date women that don't make as much money as us. So what? So what? I'm happy if a woman is only making thirty thousand dollars a year. That's cool with me, you know. As long as she's feminine, submissive, inspirational, cooks food for me, rubs my back, does what I say, maintains a household raises the children i don't care how much money she makes you know but women will only date rich guys it's crazy good point there intellect thank you brother um shout out to shout out to amari antiquity uh for the five dollar super chat boss babes are not wives yes indeed they're not wives they inherit all masculine traits ambition is not sexy that's a man's virtue i want real femininity yes indeed thank you bro I don't care about a woman's ambition. I don't give a damn about that. Ambition is a man's trait. It ain't for a woman. I don't care if you want to do all this, do all that. No. What I care about is how feminine are you on a scale to 10? How submissive are you on a scale to 10? How womanly are you on a scale to 10? I don't give a damn about your ambition. I don't give a damn if you want to be a partner at a, law, at a law firm. That has nothing to do with me. I don't care about your master's degree or your goddamn PhD. What I care about is how feminine are you? You know? That's what men want. Women don't understand what men want and need. And it goes on to my next point. You know, a lot of women keep talking about uh, conditional femininity. So they're saying that women have to be both masculine and feminine. No. No. Woman must be feminine 24-7, 365 days. There's no such thing as being a, con a conditional feminine woman. You know, talking about, oh, I can balance being masculine and being feminine. No, you can't do that. I don't want a conditional feminine from a woman right i want a hundred percent every day 24 7 365 feminine woman keep that conditional feminism feminism feminine what 
conditional um, uh, femininity away from me, you know? Talking about at work, I want to be masculine, but when I come home, I want to be feminine. No, even at work, you must be feminine. Femininity is a 24-7 trait, and that's why I want for my woman. Appreciate you, uh, Amari uh, Antiquity. This boss babes thing I keep hearing is nonsense. I don't want I don't want no boss babe. I want a feminine babe, you know? <laughs> it's simple, simple as that. Um shout out to Jonathan Hahn uh for the $4.99 super chat. Have a woman I recently got in close to, very feminine and kind from Cota di Ivor, Ivory Coast. Wonderful, you know? That's in Africa right there. What does that tell you, brothers? Right? Brothers, you've got to travel. If you want that type of love that Jonathan Hahn is getting, you only get it from a foreign woman. And be quick, because feminism is spreading around the globe. You know, the West is pushing out that nonsense to, to every different country. So get your passport as soon as possible. Start traveling early. Secure your foreign chick. Make rules for her. You can do this, you can do that, and life will be good, you know? Don't take no chances. Don't take no chances. Shout out to you, Jonathan Hahn. Much appreciated. Let me check the likes. 80 likes are a lot more better. Thank you very much. But let's keep uh, getting the likes up. So I will uh, open up. Um... Okay, intellect. Interesting. Can you call him, brother, to speak about Seattle, how... Asian women are jumping in on the bad wagon, which is great to hear, you know. Um, you know, we want to see more brothers dating Asian women, you know. I want to see more brothers dating Asian women. I want to see more brothers dating Latina women. I want to see more brothers dating black foreign women, all right? A lot of you brothers are so fixated on black American women, UK black women, blah, blah, blah. There are a lot more black women out there that are feminine that you can get all around the world, you know? Shout out to uh, Osama Abdi. What's up, brother? Been a minute, brother. How you keeping, bro? Thank you, brother, for the support, for the $5 super chat. Uh, Mark Ruiz Brownlee, um, 50 million subs on YouTube, tall, wealthy, super intelligent, only 28, yet you never hear sisters checking for him as he is a, a lame. <laughs> I know who he is, bro. They ain't checking for that, brother. Sisters in the hood, um, even educated sisters that uh, graduated from HBCUs, you know, um, ha um, Howard University, you know, all those uh, H HBCUs, they ain't checking for no Marquis uh, Brown Lee, bro. Educated sisters in the West are checking for Phuket and Ray Rays only. Out here in the UK, I know black women that graduated from King's College, Cambridge, UCL, and they're checking for the Phuket, Ray Rays, and Tyrones out here in the UK hoods. I have seen that with my own two eyes. And I know in America, the same thing gets done over there too. Educated sisters are checking for the fugs. They ain't checking for Marquis Brown Lee, bro. You know? And Marquis Brown Lee would do very well in Japan. He would do great in South Korea. He would do great in Latin America. You know? He would even do great in Ukraine, even though Ukraine is in a goddamn war right now. He would kill it in these countries. Smart, educated, tall. He can travel to any country. He would get a dying woman. But he will never get a dying woman in America. And you know why I said that, Abdu? I've seen his girlfriend. His girlfriend ain't good looking, bro. He's dating a very basic Becky. No cap. Marquise Brown Lee right now, the, the YouTuber tech guy, is dating a very basic Becky. Are you telling me that this millionaire, that's the best he can get? That's the best he can get in America. That just shows you how bad it is for rich black men in America that he can only get a woman like that. Have y'all seen his girlfriend? Man, she's a solid uh, 3.5 out of 10. I'm not trying to be rude, but 
he's a millionaire. Why on earth is he dating a woman like that? You know why? Because America, pretty women in America don't respect rich black men. But when Marquise Brown Lee travels to Japan, when he goes down to Costa Rica, you know, to Poland, to Sweden, I guarantee you the brother can get him a 10 out of 10 easily, man. He's a rich brother, he's tall, he's smart. He would do well with Japanese women. Brothers, I'm preaching to the gospel right now, man. Can you not hear the passion in my voice? Damn. Shout out to you, Usama Abdi. Thank you, brother. So, brothers, that's the end of my segment. I want you brothers to call in, to chime in, in the, on this topic. This should be very interesting. We got a lot, we, got, we have a lot of new people on the channel. I can see in the live stream chat. So, can we get some new callers in? If you've not called, um, <laughs> if, if you've not called in before, <laughs> please call in. The brother says, I looked her up. She's below mid. I told you, brothers. His girlfriend, right? His girlfriend is an illegitimate 3.5 out of 10. Why is a millionaire black man dating a woman like that? Marquise Brownlee can do much more better. But guess what? He's in America. He's in America. And, you know... Unfortunately, rich black men in America don't get any respect. I guarantee you, if he was a white guy, Marquise Brown Lee, he would be of a dime. You're telling me that's the best he can get? Jesus Christ. Marquise Brown Lee, get your passport, brother, as soon as possible. Because that's just disgraceful. I'm not being rude here, but uh, it's just... <laughs> it's just horrible seeing a brother that rich dating a fugly woman like that. All right, um, wonderful. Get the likes up, brothers. Brothers, um, let me let me plug in my Patreon one more time because I, I want you brothers to understand how how important the Patreon is. Um, the the Patreon is incredible. Thomas Demihin, you know, um, Nate Kelly, they're all on the Patreon. Um, we speak very often. You know, it financial advice. I had a very great call with Thomas regarding crypto and stocks. You know, it was a great conversation. You also have explicit X-rated intel on various women. I've got Thai women coming up. I've got um, Argentinian women coming up on the Patreon. There's a lot of videos coming on the Patreon that if you're not a part of it, you won't get the real intel, right? It's only a monthly payment. It's very cheap. You get a lot of benefits. So brothers, Press a two in the live stream chat right now if you will be joining the Patreon. Press a two in the live stream chat right now if you will be joining the Patreon. Okay. I want I want to help you brothers as much as I can. I want to get you brothers out there. I want to see you brothers succeed. And IT is a is the best path for black men. I want to get as much black men into IT. All right. If you also want behind the scenes intel that will never be on my YouTube channel and will only be on the Patreon, join the Patreon, brother. So press a two in the live stream chat right now if you will be joining the Patreon. I should see a lot of twos. I should see like 20, at least 20 twos, man. At least 20 twos. Snake Eyes, Jonathan Hahn, Amari Anquity. I've got to see a lot of twos, you know. Um, Steak Eyes, the Argentinian video will only be on the Patreon. There, there needs to be more twos. Can we get more twos and join the diamond tier? And when you're on the Patreon, you stay on the Patreon, man. Because the Patreon is going is the best thing ever. The Patreon is, is the best thing ever. The Japanese one I did last week, incredible. The information I got from Japanese women on the Patreon... I'm going to be applying that when I travel to Japan in, in the near future. You know? So I so I know what I know what Japanese women want in the bedroom. I know what I can do to them in the bedroom. That's intel that you only get on the Patreon. Right? So I want to see a lot of twos. I want to see more twos. Join the Patreon. Stay on the Patreon. 
I want to get you brothers into IT, okay? Whether it's um, cloud engineer, cybersecurity, um, system administration, Linux, Windows, I can help you out with that, brothers. Thomas, the other day I, I helped Thomas with his CV, you know? And he was very appreciative. So press A2 um, if you want to get in the Patreon. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, I better see 20 people, 20 new people on the Patreon. Okay? I better see, um, I better see Snake Eyes, Jonathan Hahn, Amari Antiquity, uh, Miss International, Frank Harris, Marvin Lloyd, uh, Mike Lawrence, uh, Michael Parker. I bet you see your brothers in the Patreon, man, tomorrow morning. All right? So press a two right now, brothers. I want to see more twos. I need at least 10 more twos that will join the Patreon. Okay? I'm in the Facebook group as well, brothers. So if you're on Facebook, if you want to join the Facebook group, um, request to join the Facebook group. Here it is, brothers. There's a link to it. Um, if you're also on Twitter, uh, feel free to um, follow me on Twitter. Um, send me a DM on Twitter, retweet my tweets. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Um, there is hope for you, Primito. There's, there's a lot of hope for you. Go to Japan, bro. Go to Japan. Telling you, brother, if you're a lame in America, when you're in a different country, women won't care about how you look. I'm telling you, just dress well, look clean, and you're good, bro. It don't matter how, how you are. Um, I'm also on Instagram as well, brother. So follow me on Instagram. Uh, send me a DM on Instagram. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Here's the Instagram, brother. Um, And the Cash App is here, brothers. Please donate to the Cash App. That's open 24-7. Again. And let me put up Thomas' quote there. Thomas is right there, you know. Primito, uh, dark, poetic, 53. That's tall, brother. That's not, that's not, um, yeah, if you're in America, uh, you may get looked over because America is a stupid country in terms of how the women think. But um, abroad, that height there is perfect. Japan, you will basically be the tallest man in the room in Japan, you know? That's why I'm telling you, brothers, go to where you will stand out. Go to where you are working, you know? <laughs> Shout out to Pat Do It too. The, the brother knows, you know? <sighs> um, the Patreon is here as well, brothers, one more time. So I better see new people join the Patreon. Um, and again, we're going to have weekly financial streams and a lot of, it's going to be ugh, weekly financial streams about stocks, about crypto, one-to-one -one career advice, one-to-one -one consultation advice about your IT career, right? I want you brothers to get into IT as soon as possible. I can help you out with your CV. I can help you out with, um, you know, with, uh, education, technical stuff. I can give you resources that I bought personally. I can share it with you. It's all good with me. So I want to get your brothers into IT. So please join the Patreon and let's have that one-to-one -one call, coaching session, and you, I, I will mentor you, okay, personally. So brothers, call in and let's have a great discussion. Yeah, Osama Abdu, I'm very disappointed, but that's America. You know, how can you be a millionaire and you, you're dealing with a basic Becky like that? I mean, if you're into white girls, that's cool. That's your preference. But at least go for a good looking one, you know? At least go for a dime. You know, there's some good looking uh, Beckys out there in America. There may be feminists, but there's some good looking ones there. Come on, Marquis Brownlee, man. If you can't get that, get your passport, brother. Get your passport, brother. All right, call in, brothers. Let me get some water real quick.
Oh yeah, that was good. Oh, classic. This is this is more classic than um. This is more classic than. Oh, I don't even know, man. Let's see who's calling. Let me let me bring in, uh, Pat do it. Uh, Pat David, can you turn your camera on in the background very briefly? Um, thank you, brother. You're confirmed. Let me bring in Pat do it. This should be very interesting. I know Pat's going to come at me, man. Hey, IP, man, you need game, bro. You need game, bro. <laughs> What's going on, Pat? You can hear me? Loud and clear, brother. How you keeping? I'm doing all right. So, so yeah, you do need game overseas. And... um. Game isn't, um, you know, stupid strategies like waiting two, two hours to text back or flaking on the first date to increase the interest. Game is how you show up. Game is how you dress. Game is um, if you're masculine. Game is, um, you know, if, you, if you're socially intelligent, that's game. And, like, if you go to these other countries, I mean, there's rich men in these countries, too. There's athletic men in these countries as well. So you're going to have competition anywhere you go. So if you go to these countries and all you could offer is just like I'm American, it's 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 not enough. You have to be interesting. You gotta know female psychology. Cause like when you go to other countries, what women are attracted to doesn't change overseas like that. They still they still want a tall guy. I mean, height doesn't matter if you're confident and you have a good body, but they still want a confident guy. They want a masculine dude. And just the and just the if the if the only thing you can offer is being American, it's just not enough. You have to be interesting. So um, yeah, that's what I really got. I, I gotta say, because <laughs> like girls, okay. girls are gonna play games with you overseas soon, and you gotta know, you gotta know how to respond to that. You gotta know when not to cave in. If you um go on a date with a girl and she's like, "Hey, I want to go here instead," and you cave in and go to and and go with her plans, she's gonna see that as weakness, just like an American <laughs> chick. So yeah, you, you you really gotta have game overseas soon because I've seen dudes go overseas and and be really disappointed as well. So that's all I got to say. Is dating overseas easier? Yeah, it's a little easier because you're more of a ready, but as I said, you have to be interesting too. That's all. Okay. All yeah. right, thanks for that, Pat. Pat, no what, 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 what's your thoughts on the live stream topic, right? If you are lame in America and you can't get women in America, are you also a lame when you go abroad? Um, Honestly, I, I kind of believe if you can't get – if you can't get laid in your country, you're probably not going to be able to get laid when you get overseas. It's going to be a little easier. You're gonna you're gonna get more matches on Tinder, but you got to know how to talk. You got to work on yourself overall. Just don't think because you're an American and you haven't worked on yourself and you can't get girls in America, you're gonna go somewhere else and get a, and be a rock star just because you're American. No, you have to work on yourself. And if once you work on yourself, you do better in America and you definitely do better overseas. Okay, that that's a very big statement, bro. I disagree with you, bro. Because, you know, I've come across brothers who weren't getting no play in the UK. Absolutely no play. But when they went to Germany, when they went to um, Sweden, bro, they were getting a lot of play. They were getting laid every other day. They got girlfriends out there. So, you know, I disagree with you there, bro. Uh, big time. Because, again, in the West, women think very differently from women from other countries. They want all these high requirements. You know, they're just hard to, to deal with in general. But when they go abroad, they can be themselves. Yeah, they got to obviously, you know, be confident, speak up. But, bro, it's easier abroad, uh, Pat. And you know this, bro. You're, you're out there in a different country, bro. You're telling me it's easy, bro. It's slightly easier, but it's not a utopia. I, I still run into crazy girls, girls with, who act just like American girls, too. So it's just like, I, it's not a utopia. Is it, if, if dating in America is a five, I say dating overseas is like a seven. It's not you. It's not a ten out of ten. You're still gonna have issues. You're still gonna have to, um, you know, show up, be masculine, um, you know, and just understand women. And because you, as I said, there's rich men in these countries too. There's athletic men with game in these countries as well. So is it better? Yeah, but it's not a utopia. Okay. I mean, I will say this, bro. Um, personally, um, if I want to find a, a, you know, a respectable girlfriend and a wife. It won't be from the city. It'd be from the countryside, you know. And oh, I know yeah, it's a little different. There, co yeah. Countryside girls are very different from city girls, right? From city girls, they want to be American. They want to have all this uh, sex in the city lifestyle. So I know how these city girls work all around the world. But I know in, in the countryside abroad, particularly like somewhere like in Japan, in Morocco, 
these chicks out here, bro, don't laugh. They ain't got no TVs, bro. <laughs> I mean, if you want, if you want that, you gotta learn a language. Yep, and, and that's what I'm telling brothers. You know, if you pick a country, you know, and learn the language to a to a goddamn T, whether it's Japan, Spain, Portuguese, learn that language. Right, come through correct. Say you're from America, dress well. I'm guarantee you, any country girl will fall to your knees, bro. I'm telling you, bro. And I'll be I'll be traveling again this year. I'll be hitting up the countryside. There'll be a lot of video content. I'm, I'm going to show you brothers dimes out there, woman I'm dealing with. So look out for that very, very soon. So shout out to Pat Dirt, man. I see the brother right there. And yeah, I'll be talking about Poland brother. soon. I'm, I'll, I'll be talking about Poland soon. I'll, I'll be giving y'all, y'all that intel because I've been out here for three months. I leave, in, I leave in like six hours, unfortunately. But I can't wait to be back out here. Yeah, the brother was in Poland uh, for the last three months. We got a stream coming up with him very soon. And it should be a classic stream, man. He's so... You're going to give us the fall down about Polish women, you know, and where they are. You know, brothers, only on this channel, man. You know, and shout out to Pat DeWitt for agreeing to the stream. Thank you, brother. Stay on the line, brother. I know you have to go, but just let me know when you want to jump off, okay? All right, cool. Um, what the fuck? Sorry for my language there, brothers. Um, shout out. Let me put this on mute. Let me um, bring in John Han. John Han, can you turn your camera on in the background real quick? Just so I need to know who you are. Show your face, brother. Um, thank you, bro. You're confirmed. Thank you, brother. Turn it off. Let me bring in Mr. Jonathan Hahn. It's been a minute, bro. How you doing, brother? Good. How have you been, IP? Hey, I'm doing good, Jonathan Hahn, man. I see you hitting those super chats, so thank you, brother, for your support. It means a lot to me, John Hahn. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. I mean, absolutely. I've finally gotten stuff in motion for me to not just go overseas, maybe move out of the country. I just started school to do computer science, so hopefully in like three, four years, I can get out of the U.S. for good. Wonderful, and you will, bro. The channel will still be here in, in, in three, four years' time, Lord willing, and you're going to have all the intel you need. You're going to have the pick of your choice, brother. So let me ask you this right now, brother. Um, and brothers, please, can we, get a, can we get the likes up? Can we hit the super chats? Hit the cash app as well, brothers. Please do so. That would be great. Thank you. So, Jonathan, right, if you're a lame in America, and you can't get women, are you also a lame when you travel? You know, let's break it down for us, bro. Do you believe that? Do you disagree? Well, I'll tell you, I'll put it this way. As soon as I saw the title, my first reaction was, that is the biggest cap I've ever heard in my life. Damn. There's no way, there's no way possible, because, like, the, the woman that I just mentioned in the chat from Cote d'Ivoire, that is the, one of the most feminine women I've met, and she li she's literally living here. And every single time I see her, it's either she, if I don't see her, she'll touch my back. Or if she walks past me, she'll touch my arm, something, one of those two things. Like, she just seems happy to see me all the time. She just came back from seeing family in Cote d'Ivoire, not even like a week ago. I got a hug and everything when she came back. She said she missed me. I missed her because I was bored for a month. I had nobody to talk to. Damn. So let me ask this, brother. Do you do you consider yourself a lame in America? Keep it real, bro. You know, we're, we're about transparency here. No one will laugh at you. You know, my channel is all about respect. Anyone that wants, that wants to come at you, I will ban them. Do you consider yourself a lame in America, bro? No, I don't think I'm a lame, mainly because I'm not doing what everybody else is doing. That To me, that looks boring. Hmm. Somebody's got to do something different. I see everybody wanting to do the same things. Why are we not being trendsetters and just following them? Which is probably go. why I don't fit in because everybody's saying, like, if you're trying to go overseas, go do it. Because a lot of it, because the people that are in my circle that are supporting me, they're saying, go do it. Everybody else that I've been seeing around, especially like at work, I know they've probably never been out of the country. Everybody's westernized in there. And I work for a global company, so there's no excuse for anybody like i just see the difference every day mm. you can point out someone that's feminine and somebody that's not because we have so many people from foreign countries working there facts definitely bro uh, i i agree with that john han you know um you working for for a global company make sure you leverage that in your career so 
maybe you can you can transfer to a different city that has an office there for your company. So make sure you leverage that opportunity, bro. Do you have any thoughts you want to say, John, before I move on to the next caller? Uh, no, you can let somebody else jump in. All right, thank you, John. Put yourself on mute, brother. I'll, I'll come back to you later on. Okay. Um, let me uh, bring in Mr. Thomas Demihin, the legend. What's up, Thomas? Hi, how are you keeping, brother? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Thomas. How are you keeping, man? All good, man. How are you? Hey, I'm, I'm doing good, man. Uh, I'm doing very fine, Thomas. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, great talk we had yesterday over our Patreon one-to-one -one talk. I, I've got yep. some more financial information for you that would be beneficial to you, Thomas. So we'll speak on Saturday. You know, you're part of the Patreon Diamond tier, so you will get uh, first dibs on that. So looking forward to our talk, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Um... So, Thomas, um, what, what's your thoughts on the stream? You know, if you're lame in America, you know, if, no, if you're lame in the UK, because you're from the UK, and you can't get women in the UK, are you a lame when you go abroad? What's your thoughts about that, Thomas? First and foremost, am I lame? Well, am I lame in the UK? Well, no, because um, I've got my fair share of attractive women. However, they want my cup of tea. And now uh, I, consider myself a sigma male so lone wolf so i don't follow what my peers are doing but am i lame if i get foreign women also no because i know for a fact um foreign women are much more superior than uk women that's a mm. fact yeah they're, they're better facially they're, they're more beautiful mm. personality that you see they're very feminine. Four women were raised to be feminine since birth. They have unconditional femininity, whereas UK women, were, they're masculine because of the whole feminist movement. They're just, do you know what? They've replaced their femininity with masculinity. They think femininity is a weakness. So they try to be as masculine as possible. They live this independent boss lady lifestyle and they follow <laughs> negative role models. Let me tell you something, brother IP. Big bro IP. Yes. You see these role models they look up to? I call them the dark trinity. So first you got on top of the trinity, you have Beyonce. Then you have Cardi B. Then you have Nicki Minaj. And then you have the Acolytes. So Megan Thee Stallion, Lizzo, uh, Kim Kardashian, the dark trinity for these modern liberal Western women. And the thing they don't seem to understand is this. Um, Beyonce, Cardi B, and, Mick, and Nicki Minaj, they're married. Yeah. <laughs> They're married, and the message that these the, the women from the Dark Trinity have presented to these independent boss lady women is that you don't need a man. You're you're better than men. There was a actually there was a post that I made on Facebook IP. Did you happen to see it? it uh, no, no, not yet. Uh, you need to see it, bro. It's amazing. So, um, so. All throughout their entire lives, these liberal Jezebels, they think, oh, we don't need men. When it comes to 25, oh, what all the good men left? When it comes to doing in their 30s, I'm still young. I'm still proactive. I can get a man. <laughs> when it comes to their 40s, I've made a mistake. When it comes to their deathbed, I blame all men. That's, that's their mindset, IP. Whereas foreign women, they honor men. They differentiate good men and bad men. And someone mentioned um, that um, women who are career orientated are not wife material. That's very true. There's, but there's a difference between a woman who is driven and uh, career orientated. 
a woman who's driven um, puts her family first and her aspirations second. So that's a woman to go after. Like if if you if a woman wants to get married, and when she gets married, IP, do you agree with me on this? If a woman gets married, yeah, it's better for her to accomplish her goals a lot easier because she has support by her man. Yes. Yep. Yep. It's a lot. See, brothers, go for women who are driven, not career orientated. Mm. Because very good point, Thomas. Go on, carry on. Because women who are driven, they understand their weaknesses. So they want to overcome it with strengths. So conservative minded women are driven women. Again, I'll give you examples. Candace Owens, I know brothers don't like her, but Candace <laughs> Owens is a driven woman. Candace Owens is a driven woman. Margaret Thatcher, brother, do, do yourselves a favor. Go look at Margaret Thatcher. She is um, one, of the fam- one of the best prime ministers in the UK. IP, let me tell you something about Margaret Thatcher. Every time she went to work, she was prime minister. But the thing is, she surrounded herself with men. Her MPs were all men, IP. Because she said, women are not meant to lead. Yep. Men are meant to lead. That's why she surrounded herself with um, male politicians. Even the Queen questioned her. Oh, do you have any female politicians? No. No, they're all men. Because I want... That's why she reigned supreme as Prime Minister for more than a decade. But when she went when she went home, I think, do you know what she did? She put all her work stuff away, went, got to the kitchen, put her robes on, prepped the meal, set up the table, Served her family. She I should be. Exactly, brother. She never. She was never the boss lady in the household. No, her husband was the leader. That's a driven woman, brothers. Go for women who are driven, not career orientated. Hmm. Thank you, Thomas, for the gospel right there. Appreciate Thanks, you, bro. bro. Facts, man. Absolute facts. Thank you, brother. Um, anything else you want to say, Thomas? Before I go on to the next caller, I, oh, I, I will say I'll come back to you later on. Um, I have to say this. Um, in terms of spitting game in foreign countries, I disagree, to be honest, because I think brothers, you just need to be rena- re- a Renaissance man. So, what what is a Renaissance man? A Renaissance man is a man who's just articulate, intelligent. You know who who specializes in the who specializes in the art of conversation. You don't you don't need to learn about oh female psychology oh <laughs> what a woman thinks. No, you don't need that. Just be yourself. Just say hi. How are you doing? You know, um, it'd be nice to meet you. Just get a conversation. That's it. Speak about things that are intelligent, like uh, the the woman's culture or historical figures or. The history of her country. That's it. What am I gonna, what am I gonna know about female psychology? I don't need that. <laughs> man what, says female psychology, me? man. Hey, you what's brothers are taking this. Me? You brothers are taking this game thing too fast, man. Too far. I'm sorry. Female psychology. What is this? Are you a scientist or something, brothers? Now, y'all some scientists. <laughs> y'all some biomedical scientists talking about female psychology. Come on, man. God damn it, brothers, man. Thank you, Thomas. That's a good point right oh. there. Thank you, bro. Thanks, um, bro. Primito, uh, please call in, brother, because we need to clarify why you feel so down. You know, stop worrying about your height. I'm telling you, there are certain countries where that's not even a factor, right? The other day, the other week, sorry, a brother called in. He said he was, I think, 5'7". And he was getting play for a woman that was six one six two in Ukraine. So, bro, you're good, man. But can you call in Primito? Um, I, I want you to call in, please. Thank you. Let me bring in Jaron Patton. What's going on, Jaron Patton? How you doing, brother? How y'all guys doing? Because 
Okay. So. Goodbye, Big Bro. So I say first thing for you, brother, um, your thoughts on the live stream topic. You know, if you're if you're a lame in America and you can't get a woman, are you a, also a lame abroad and you can't get women or can you get women abroad? What's your thoughts oh, about that? Okay. Okay, IP. Let me uh, say this. If I'm a lame or traveling overseas, am I a lame from not getting women here in America? Hell no. Why? Because I'm a man. I don't care what everybody else's opinion I don't care about their judgment. I don't care what, what they think. And why I am going ham on this? Because people want to sit here and bring judgment towards us. That's because we're trying to travel around the world and live our own lives. If you wanted to call me lame and a nerd and a geek traveling around the world, screw you. I don't care about their opinions. I don't care of what they think. I don't care how they feel. And let me say this to all of y'all brothers out there. If someone trying to call you a lame, like don't listen to them. Based on their judgment and their negativity and all of this, because you have every right to live your own life. You have every right to do whatever the hell you want. You have every right to um, handle your own business and do what you got to do and be yourself. Don't pretend that's something that you are not because people have their difference of opinion, but their opinions do not matter. So, like, if I'm traveling around the world, you'll call me lame because I don't have no game. Like, you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. And let me just say this to you. I said this before, and I will say it again. And I know some people do, do not know this. I do not take women here in the U.S. seriously. Why? Because I prefer foreign women only. I know I said this before. And I also prefer interracial relationships. If I wanted to travel around the world, I can do it. If you're going to uh to just say something like really negative that you're lame, you're a nerd, you're a geek, like I do not care. Okay? Because we don't have to deal with this stress, this chaos, this tossingness, this all of this drama and all that stuff. No. And let me and and, and here's a here's a thing. Because like you see women here in the US the feminist movement, the Me Too movement, and career woman who had no time to have a man because she focused on her career, and then you want a woman who is educated. That's where you want a woman like that? Good for you. Because sooner or later, because you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it sooner or later. Because... What, what uh Thomas mentioned uh what women what women in the industry like people like Kim Kardashian and Carly B and Mega the Stallion and, and and all of those all those women and and Nicki Minaj and, and and yeah like I see women like that and honestly I do not care what what they are doing I do not care I couldn't care less of what they're doing and let me say this. I am the type of guy who wants a woman who is loving, who is caring, who is kind, who is sweet, who is loyal, submissive, and you name it. I deserve a good woman. Everybody else deserves a good woman. If people want to judge me for who I am, I do not care. Thank you, brother. I just, and, and, and the other thing. IP. Okay. Because, like, at the end of the day, people are going to bring judgment. You cannot let people judge you for who you are, that because you're traveling around the world. And to all the brothers out there who is watching this, do not let these people trying to take you down and call you lame and nerd and geeks. 
that because you're traveling around the world, you have every right to live your life. You have every right to do what you want to do. You have every right to live a good life. Peace, love, happiness. That's what I want. And I know that's what y'all want. If they want to call me those names, so be it. I don't care about their judgment or their opinions. And that's all I'm about to say for now. I, I'm, I'm just want to calm down. That, yeah, I just want to get this off my chest. Yeah, get you chill, bro, bro. I know the rest of the women are just some horrible devils, but bro, don't let it get to you, bro, okay? All right? Thanks. It's, it's yeah, going to be good, bro. We're going to be all right, man. Shout out to Kendrick. Come on, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, you're right. We got to be all right. We I just want to be wanna... all right, bro. Shout out to Kendrick Kamala. Thank you, bro. We going to be all right. Hey, we going to be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We going to be all right. We going to be all right, brother. We going to be all right. The brother's here right now, man. The brother bringing, he's bringing the chopper in, man. The AK 47s, <laughs> the sniper. <laughs> Shout out to Jaron Patson, man. That's the brother right there. Uh, brothers, can we please get the cash apps and the super chats flowing again, please, brothers? You know, uh, please support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, please. That would be great. Thank you. So, um, the Seattle Sideshow, can you turn your camera on in the background for a few, a few seconds? We find so I know you're not sure. Yep. Thank you, brother. Turn it off, please. Let me bring in the Seattle Sideshow. What's going on, man? AIP. Yo, can y'all hear me? <laughs> and that accent, man, of course I can hear you, bro. That distinguishable James Bond accent. Yes, bro. Hi, Keith, man. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm doing good. Yeah, man, I just hopped on kind of late. So I didn't get the whole gist of the conversation. What's the main topic? Are you lame for going overseas? Yeah, so so we're saying, right, if you're a lame in America and you can't get women, does that, does that also apply overseas as well? So if you can't get women in America and you're lame, how are you able to get women overseas? Me, I disagree with that because I've seen stories of brothers who ain't getting no play in America, who are lame, who are nerds, et cetera, et cetera, literally look like nerds, act like nerds. But when they go abroad, they're getting dimes all over. Do you agree, brother, or do you disagree? I'm actually a bit in the middle, and I would actually – play more towards devil's advocate on this one as I usually do because to be honest with you I've seen I'll put it to you this way like I've said before you don't need game for women overseas mm. just as you don't necessarily need a car to live your life well technically mm. you don't need one but it's always useful a perfect example is you could be a complete square cornball nerd everyone identify here in the states and if you go to, to Japan and you don't know nothing about it's cool and all for us to say, well, you don't need to know female nature. But if you don't know anything about how females manipulate you, I don't care where you're at. You can fall victim to certain things that women do, certain things that you aren't aware of. Um, all women are hypergamous regardless of where you're at. So it's always good to at least know some game. I'm not, I wouldn't say at all that you don't need any. But um, it's good to know at least some. And as far as if if you're a complete square here, yeah, you can get, you know, a pretty good looking woman or feminine woman overseas. But then you bring it to a question, genuine desire. And the only reason I bring that up is because like I brought up on your stream before, we've talked about dudes who said they were slaying in you know, parts of Asia or even Eastern Europe or whatnot. But. You'd ask them, you know, how old were these women? Or you'd ask them, do the women, do the men in their countries even see them as high value? And some did, some didn't. And I'm not saying, you know, if, <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying um, if you you can't you can't be happy. But at the same time, let's just put it to you this way: if you're in, let's say, uh. Here in America, let's say if you see a dude with a certain caliber of woman, you'd be like, OK, she's 40 plus, you know, got kids and whatnot. If you're in Japan and OK, she's more feminine, so, but it's the same thing in Japan. So I don't think that you necessarily get a pass just because you're in Japan dating a 40 plus year old woman. So, yeah, I'm just keeping it 100. No, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, keep it factual, no cap on my channel. You made, you made some good points that some I disagree with. Um, you know, I'm, me, I speak for myself only. When I get a foreign chick, she's got to be at eight minimum. She's got to be at eight minimum. And all my foreign chicks have been 
eights minimum. Nothing lower than nothing lower than eight. Because when I go out there, I dress very well. I I might wearing a suit. Or I just very professional. I wear some nice shoes. I put on, I put on very, very nice smelling perfume. You know, get a nice shape up, uh, nice haircut as well. Make sure my face is clean. Uh, I'm, my face is moisturized. No, no dryness in my face or arms. And the woman will, will check, check for you. You know, easily. We we got women out here in the UK that are Polish. And Thomas can vouch me here. These Polish chicks are dimes and they're checking for brothers heavily. I remember back in the day when I walked in a in a shop, right? It was a noodle shop. And the owner, the manager was a Polish chick. She was over me. She was all over me like I was some celebrity. Hey, IP, um, I can give you a job here. Hey, IP, do you have a girlfriend? Hey, IP. I was like, dang, I only just met you. Like, and she was Polish, man. She was a dime too. You know, so I, I can speak for myself only, bro. You know, maybe some guys are dealing with horrible women out there. <laughs> but me personally, I ain't doing that, bro. But thank you, Sats, for Shad. So, do you have anything you want to add on before I go on to the next caller? Yeah, no, I completely agree, man. And when it's all said and done, we're mainly traveling so that brothers can be happy out here. I'm just putting it to you this way. If uh shout out to splash wave beats he made a good video on his channel called by the time she gets to you and all i'm saying is brothers don't sell yourself short if you know okay she's a dime here in the states but in thailand or in osaka or in singapore you know she's 31 years old and every and none of the high value men there would even give her the light of day you know uh set yourself on the same standard just because she's 31 and she's giving you play in here in the states that'd be a 10. Why can't mm. you play on that same level? That's all I'm saying. True. But I think uh, brothers I've, I've seen, right, that have sent me pictures of the women they're dealing with, they've not been 31 or they're disgusting looking. They've been under 25 and very good looking ladies. You know, but he missed a good That's point good. there. Yep. Uh, please, uh, I mean, let me put you on mute. See, I talk, you got some loud background. Um, please don't go out there dating women that are over 26. No, over 23, actually, you know. Go for 18 to 23. Don't do over 23, brothers, please. It's just not worth it, you know? Um, shout out to Sato Shato. Thank you, brother. Um, let me bring in, um, who's not? Mike Lawrence, can you turn your camera on in the background, please? Just so I know you're not a troll. Thank you, bro. Turn it off. Uh, brothers, get the likes up. Get the super chats and cash outs rolling, please. Thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions for me, please... Um, cash up or super chat your questions what's going on michael how are you YP? yeah i'm doing good man how are you i'm good man i'm good <laughs> just hanging in there and i hope man that that last guy was <laughs> he almost i i almost i almost cried a little bit when the other brother saying <laughs> was his yeah. was his yeah and he's and and I agree with him a hundred percent. Like, like I, I agree with him. So his words are somewhat different. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. Do, 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 do you agree with the last topic or? Yeah, I. Agree? Yeah, I agree with the last brother was saying that that um, you're not lame if you're if you're if you're traveling overseas. You're not lame because you want you want to have love, peace, and all of that. I, I agree with him 100% because, because you know, you, you know, people, you know, people wanted to, they, people wanted to judge people for, for their, about your decisions, but I'm not going to let them because, uh, because my, um, my, I, I, I knew, I know someone who told me that I had to travel and live my own purpose because, because I um I I believe and I believed him because okay. yeah I believed him and uh, he he really and um he really he yeah he really he he really um I just really opened my eyes ever, ever since because I know I can't get a woman over I can't get women in America because as you know America as you know American women are are completely are completely useless 
and they're not they're <laughs> useless yeah they're useless because um i'm because i i prefer the day four I'm minute a, a, because, not, not all not all i mean it's not all american yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah just so yeah. people don't get mad karen bro yeah so <clears throat> anyway that's why I choose the day foreign women because I, because I, I just, because uh, women in America, they're falling to this feminist propaganda and it's, it's literally going to get worse and it's already going to get worse because, because um, I don't care what those people say, but I don't care what any of us th disagree with me, but about dating me, Dating in um in foreign women, where is women from Brazil, Colombia, Japan? That's why I tell that's why I tell my best friend, we need to get our passports. We need to travel. You don't want to stay here. <laughs> you don't want to stay in America, because because they're not into average guys. Women are not into average guys. Um, the good the good guys with um with with um with the values of or, or with the values of um you know self righteous self righteous guy who is who who keeps his commandments from god and always and and um and in the in the in the american in the american women they're not they they they're not fall they're they're just they're just not following the rules of the Bible. Thank you, brother. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Bro. Yes, I sir. appreciate it, Mike. Thank you, brother. Yes, um, so, uh, Primito, uh, when are you going to call in, bro? Um, Jonathan Hahn, can you turn your camera on in the background just so I know you're not a troll? Uh, I do mean, thank you, bro. You're confirmed. Thank you, Jonathan. So, when are you going to call in, Primito? You know, um, I might put you on timeout, bro, because you're going off right now. If you don't call in in the next five minutes, Primito, I'm gonna put you on timeout because we're giving you all this advice and you keep on being on this uh, self-hating uh, um, tip right now. And I, I, don't, I don't want that on the channel, brother. We're trying to get you some help here. So I want you to call in in the next five minutes. If you don't call in and you continue, um, all right, let me post the... <laughs> hey, this brother is a joker. This brother is a joker. So that, that's the link right now, Primito, on the live stream chat. Click on that link right now, call in, and let's break down your whole inferiority complex because it's, it's, it's starting to get to me now. I don't want brothers to be feeling down for themselves, okay? You know, and that's why I offer the one-to-one -one Patreon advice where I can give you personal encouragement, positive vibes, you know? Call in, bro. Me and Thomas will, will speak to you, and I know Thomas is a great guy, he can just tell you it's all good, brother. You know, so calling brother, I'm gonna put you on timeout if you keep on being on that self pity nonsense. Okay, um, let me roll it back to Jonathan Hahn. He wants to say something. Go on, Jonathan. Hey, sorry about that. My phone was acting weird, so it dropped out of the chat. No, okay, no worries, bro. I think Primitor, Primitor, can you turn your camera on in the background real quick, just so I know you're not a troll, and yeah, you can turn it off afterwards. So. If, Two seconds, five seconds. Turn it off and turn it back off. Turn it on, turn it back off, bro. All right, turn it off. Thank you, bro. Let me bring in Primito. What's going on, Primito? How you doing, brother? All right. Hey, speak up louder, man. Come on, bro. Hey, IP. Hey, guys. I've been watching you guys. All right. Hey, 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 go. Carry on. I've been watching your streams a lot, and it's very good intel, and I value it a lot. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, but what's going, what's going, what's going on in your life, Primitoko? You're starting to worry, your brothers, in the live stream chat, right? In regards of your heights, all that stuff. Tell me what's going bad in your life so far. Do you do you solely blame your height? And also, how old are you? Because if you're like 15, 16, there's a lot of space, there's a lot of time for you to grow, bro. You know? But break it down for us, brother. Well, I'm actually 19, and I've been struggling with my height for a while, actually. 
I don't get play from anybody. I've never even been looked at before. Where were you in America? Are you in California? You know, one of those uh, plastic superficial states, New York, California. Where you at, bro? Nah, I'm, I'm closer to the East Coast. I'm from the Midwest, Indiana. So are you living in Indiana right now? Or mm -hmm. are you in New York? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty tough. That's, Next uh, to Illinois. <laughs> that's white people territory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Uh, it I know really is. Gary, is that Gary, Indiana, right? Are you in Gary? Uh, well, I don't live in Gary, but yeah, Gary's in Indiana, technically, although it's closer to Illinois. I, you, I, yeah okay that doesn't sound too good all right um you're 19 you've got time to grow people don't stop growing until they're 22 and you've got time bro um now why do you feel your height is important in this in this type of uh conversation here because you know i don't mention height a lot on my channel because i when i when i tell brothers to travel i tell them that women abroad don't really care about height so why do you feel like height is such an important thing for you bro well, I mean, it's pretty difficult to deny the biological importance of height to a lot of women. Like, even if they say they would date a guy who's their height, that's really not true. A lot of them wouldn't date a guy who's their height unless he was, like, very rich and wealthy. Okay. So let me, let me, let me dispel the height myth for you right now. I know for a fact that Mexican women, right, even those in America too and in Mexico too, they don't really give a damn about height because a, a lot of Mexican guys are short and you mostly see Mexican guys with Mexican women and they're roughly around the same height. You know, and Mexican women are very, very short. They're, they're your height, bro, right? So you've got a target woman that don't care about your height. So, somebody like Japan, right? Are you are you into Asian women at all? I used to only be into them in comparison to white women, but you know, after doing research, it seems like it's impossible to get with one as a brother. Oh. <laughs> he told you that research. No, bro. My my channel is all you need because my channel, like I said, relates directly to brothers. The research you're reading, I don't know what you're reading, brother, but you got to stop looking at these researches that only pertain to white boys, you know, uh, because they face different experiences than black men, right? My channel, if you're a brother, you know that this relates to you directly. There's no cap here. And that's why I always tell brothers, are these women out there checking for brothers, meaning black men? I don't make it ambiguous. I make it very specific. So, Asian women would be your um, target point here. You know, Japanese women are very short. The average height amongst Japanese women is five feet, bro. They're even shorter than you. And the average height of Japanese men is five, six, five, seven. So, not that much shorter than you, brother. You're into Asian women. So, I'm telling you, learn Japanese and find some way to go and teach English in Japan. And you're a good brother, you know? Yeah. So I mean, when you I hear like... that, what makes you feel not confident in our intel? What, what makes you feel like, oh, but still, I, I still don't think I can get women? Well, I mean, I think your intel works for a lot of people. I just think that if you are a black male and you are not of a certain height and you don't meet up to the stereotypes that a lot of people expect of you, then it just doesn't work out. Well, IP, do you mind if I quickly chime in, please? Of course. Bravo. Um, it's you're red pilled, but it, I think you still you still retain that Western mentality. Mm. Mm. So you're kind of cautious. No, you're kind of concerned about your height and not fulfilling. The negative stereotypes of black men. Is that right, Bravo? Yeah, because I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen brothers get plagued from white women, and over here is mostly with fat ones, 
like morbidly obese ones and Robert liberals who only go for thugs. Send me out of the UK. I see it all the time. Bravo. Oh, God. Bravo. The, the UK and the US is Babylon. Yeah. It's Sodom and Gomorrah, Bravo. This <laughs> place. <laughs> Bravo. I know, brother. Let me ask you this. Do you mm-hmm. plan on marrying... So, brother, do you plan on marrying an American woman? I mean... Answer that question, you're going to be brother. Yes or no? <laughs> Not really. I mean, any woman... There you go. There you, there you go. You answered my, you answered Man my question. Man said any woman. Hey, bro. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. wait. You, said, you said any woman. I mean, if, did you say any if woman? You, uh, well, yeah, but we'll like, not just Thomas. any. He's, he's that desperate, Thomas, to take anything. That means oh that my, my channel is not, it's not, get, it's not getting through to him, my channel. It's not getting through oh, to him for some reason. I mean, Bravo. Bravo. No, I don't have a no, lot of options no, as Bravo. it currently stands. Brother, I'm going to have, I can't, I can't use this approach on you. I'm going to have to be a little bit hard on you now. I didn't want to do this, but you forced my hand, bravo. Bravo, you need to leave the West. Leave the US. You're 19 years old, yeah? Do you plan on going to college? Yes. Good. In college, um, yeah, you're going to see a lot of women who are maybe foreign and a lot of attractive women as well who are American. Uh, Bravo, ignore them. Do you have a job? Yeah, it's at a retail. Okay, uh, it's only um, part time. What's your what about, what about your main studies? Um, what? I'm probably gonna major in like computer science or something like that. There you, there you go, there you mm. go. Brother IP is here to mentor you, brother. Will help you in different fields. There's so computer science is very broad. It has software engineering, computer networking, computer security, computer forensics. I'm a, uh, I'm a software developer, brother. And you like you like programming, right? Uh, computer yeah. Programming. Mm-hmm. yeah. I have some cousins who are into it too, like cybersecurity and that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, brother, you're gonna do a lot. You're gonna make a lot of money, and IP will, will be will be. It's always here. He will mentor you. Brother, you need to, you need to, you need to come out of your shell. Like hmm. Cortez Smith said, have, you haven't been outside a lot. You need to go outside. Stop listening to these um, these day, these fake dating coaches on YouTube who are like seven foot and six foot ten. They live different <laughs> realities from you, brother. Yeah, these these guys are fake. They're fake, man. Dude, bro, these guys here, yeah, they say, uh, oh, if, if you ignore if you know a girl here yeah, for up to two days, she'll, she'll come back to you. What a lot of cat, bro. They're just, just <laughs> nonsense. Bro, it's true. Stop. It's true. It's true, man. I bro. think he's... Go, Karen, Thomas, sorry. Brother, with the degree you have, Focus on that. Focus on attaining, say, this, attaining your knowledge through computer science. Save as much as money as possible. And, brother, you've travelled, right? Have you travelled? Have you left your state? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't travelled. Oh, oh, there's a problem. Well, I've travelled outside the state. Like I've been to a no, couple I'm of states. To, but... I'm talking to a different country, brother. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't traveled out the country, though. Then you need to travel, bro. Because, brother, I've seen short brothers who have, who have who IP has interviewed. They've gotten foreign dimes. Mm-hmm. Foreign dimes. Brother, look at, look, look at Lil Wayne. I know he's not the best example, but... No, no, no not Lil Wayne. Look at Floyd Mayweather. He, he can get any dime he wants. It's not because he spits out game, brother. Yeah, he's wealthy. Yeah, he's 
one of the most revered boxers of, of all time. But he's a renaissance man, bro. He's confident. He, I, I remember him, I remember Floyd Mayweather dating a woman who's six foot. And this guy's average height. Really? Brother. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. look, look, even Kevin Hart, he gets, he, this guy's like, what, five foot? Look how many dimes he's getting. Mm-hmm. Brother, it's, brother, it's the, it's, it's the liberal Jezebels that you surround yourselves with. They're not wife material, brother. Brother, you're 19. You can see these Jezebels in the US. They're single and miserable. Brother, you're winning. They're not giving you attention, brother, because they know you're an educated brother. They know you're a sharp brother who, who's already... You've already won the, the battle, brother. Them not choosing you, that's a blessing for you, brother, because when you're ready, you're going to get married to a beautiful foreign woman. Thomas, let me let me bring in Jonathan. Jonathan Hunt, do you want to do you have any advice for um Primero? I, I know you want to say something to him, brother. Yeah, I was gonna say just listen to what he's saying. That is dead on exactly my entire story going back six years. Like there's no there's no variation in it at all. Like it took me six years to get to this point. He said he wanted to go for computer science. I just started going to computer to school for computer science thomas is a software engineer so we're all we've all got the same basically path that we want to go as far as like the confidence part i'm going to be honest with me honest with you man just with the people that you're interacting in your age group you're gonna see a lot of that so yeah. don't feel bad because you're not getting shows because i already went through that as as i got older and just built my confidence I started seeing like, okay, well now I'm really the one that's winning. Mm-hmm. Not only that, mm-hmm. and, I'll, and I'll be honest with you, like you might be taller than me because legally on my driver's license, it says I'm five foot three. And I got no problem going up to somebody, a woman that's like 5'11 and talking to them because the way I look at it and try this, start looking at it this way. Like, hey, you date me, you, you get to feel like a runway model every single day. Like mm-hmm. women ain't going to like, I've tried that line on women and gotten their numbers straight up then and there. Wow. It's worked. I don't think I've ever seen it fail. Brother, I've, I've seen short I've seen short brothers dating Turkish women in the UK. Mm. I've seen I've seen them date Polish women all types. I'm t- brother. These brothers and are Polish short, women are not they're... short, dude. You're right. I know. I know. Brother. Brother, you can do it. You're just surrounded by negative people. Focus on mm. your purpose, brother. And I'm telling you, when you travel, what what, what country? You went to Germany? You go to Japan? Yeah, those are good ones. Brother. I want to go over there. Hello? Yeah, I can think... You um, uh, do, do you have a list of countries? Do you have a list you want to go to? Sort of. Germany and Japan are some of the two that Pardon? I go to. So I Germany and also. also. Mm-hmm. So, well, well, so I think Japan no, uh, would sorry. be... Oh, well, go on, Thomas. Okay. You, no, you want to no, say something, Thomas? Sorry, I interrupted you. you... No, no, sorry. Okay. I, I interrupted you. Sorry. <laughs> no worries, brother. Um, <laughs> that musical sorry, chairs let me put myself on me. Let me put myself on me. Musical chairs... Um, so I think Japan would be the best option for you, um, Primito, because women will definitely be shorter than you and men won't be that much taller than you. So I, I would say go to Japan, go out there, learn some Japanese before going out there and go and talk to women, you know, they'll even come to you. If, if, uh, it's a shame you're not part of the Patreon, but I will say, join the Patreon promoto because I've got a Japanese stream on there. And the brother was saying that they'll just approach you. They will stare you down in Japan if they like you. And I asked him, does is height a problem there? And he said, no, they don't care how about how tall you are. You're a black man, you're exotic. They haven't seen you before. They want to get to know you. 
And that's that's an easy play for you, brother. You know, so I'm hoping that this talk here um, has boosted up your self-esteem. So hold on, brother. Uh, Bolts, can you turn your camera on in the background real quick, brother? Just so I know you're not a troll. Yep, thank you, brother. You're confirmed. Let me oh, go on, go on, Thomas. Let me bring in Bolts. Yep. I P. Um, bravo. Um, very primitive. You see, um, yeah. Who has been your um the who 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 has, who has been these group of women who have been giving you adversity? Has it been Keisha? <laughs> has, uh. it been, has it been has it been a Keisha? Yeah, uh, brother. Let me tell you something. T tonight, yeah, I was watching the Batman. Yeah, I I P mm -hmm. to watch the Batman. It's a great film. It's not as good as the Dark Knight, but it's still it's still a great film. Um, I gave a nine out of ten, bro. It's really good. Um, so yeah, it's really good, bro. <laughs> um, so I, w I was watching the Batman. I was just minding my own business. So Keisha, yeah, sat next to me. She tried to make mm -hmm. conversations with me. Do you know what I told her? I quietly told her to f off, and she she oh. just went. She just went. Yeah, brother. See, <laughs> I I showcased dominance. I told her to f off. That that that's me being confident. Brother, I'm telling yeah. you, you're gonna have that you're gonna attain that ruthlessness. That's what every brother has in this in the in this space. Look, be merciless. Do not take any nonsense from anyone. That's the first step, brother. And focus on your purpose. When you have those two, brother, I'm telling you, you're gonna succeed. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, hopefully, Primito, that helped you out. Put yourself on mute, Primito. I'll come at you later on. How you doing, Bolts? You okay, brother? I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, I was just going to chime in on what Primito was saying. Um, I mean, I can't really relate. I'm, what, five, ten and a half? But, I mean, we're all struggling, man. It's, it, it's not a height thing. It's a mindset thing with these women here in the, in the States. And you're on the right path, man. You're going to major in computer science. I'm majoring in computer science right now. You know, just, you, you just got to do what you got to do. Build yourself up. And what the hell is that background noise? I'm you sorry. Okay, brother? That, yeah, it's fine. What, what is that? That's TV. I'm sorry. I'm hearing someone like someone breathing on your mic or something. Am I muted? Yeah, yeah. you're, you're uh, meet, meet yourself, Primito. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, bolts. You still there, bro? I am. Can, is, is everything fine? Is yeah, much better. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's real out here, bro. I'm. My height has nothing to. Well, I can't really say that, but I mean, we're all struggling, bro. It's it's the mindset that a lot of these women have. That you know they're brought up under feminism, but bro, I'm gonna keep it real. You're on the right path. You're majoring in computer science. You know, that's a very high value field to be going to as a black man. And I'm also majoring in computer science, man. You just, you just got to focus on that. And when the time comes, get your passport and travel, bro. That's really what it comes down to. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, uh, Boats. Primito, I hope you join the Patreon because you, you can get added to our Facebook group and our Discord server. And I think the Discord server will be a great support to you. We have an IT section there where brothers post their projects there, speak about IT stuff, life in college, life in the workplace. So um, if you want that kind of community, Primitor, I'd say join the Patreon diamond tier. I can add you uh, to that. Um, shout out to Jonathan Hahn for supporting for the third time tonight. Thank you, Jonathan Hahn. We got over 80 people watching and Jonathan and a few others have been have only supported the channel. Come on, brothers, man. Let's get the super chats up or the cash up ups. You know, support the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Uh, if you're so if you're enjoying the stream, feel free to support, you know. Uh, please do. Um, shout out to Jonathan Hahn for the four ninety nine dollar super chat. IP, gotta get ready for work tomorrow. I will tune in and call for your stream tomorrow. Primitor, keep your head up. You're going to be all right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Jonathan Hahn, for your kind words and for supporting the channel 
a numerous time in this dream. Thank you, brother. Primito, unmute yourself, please, brother. All right. After hearing that, how, how do you feel now? I feel better. I, do, okay. I really do. Fantastic. I, I don't want to see any more uh, sobs on the live stream chat or I'm this and that because we've, we've given you the game, bro. You know, we're telling you what to do. You know, I'm telling you to join the Patreon to be a part of the community. And, and I hope you do, you know, because you, you can't face life alone. You know, you really can't. You need to have like-minded brothers, brothers who care about each other. And the brothers are here are telling you that to be confident, travel. It will, it will be good, bro. It, it will be good. Um, I, I love for a wealthy, educated, lame to call in to speak about <laughs> Japanese women. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe you can call in and you can just tell you, you know, how how easy it is. Isn't isn't the live stream link pinned? I swear it's pinned. Oh, sorry. Ah, I thought I pinned it. I thought I pinned it. So, Premito, you you good now, bro? Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. I, I Oh, Thomas. I, I agree. Yeah, pretty much all, bro. Just be be confident, be ruthless, and just focus on the mission. Focus on your purpose, bro. That's all, bro. And you're going to be... Because once you succeed, the women come to you. Well, foreign women. Forget about these um, liberal Jezebels in the US. They're, they're done out here. They're gone. But yeah, just travel. And yeah, these women are coming for you, bro. But IP, let me talk about yeah these women yeah who 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 go on about height in the UK and the US yeah. Mm -hmm. But these women here, these same women here who talk about height yeah, they're like they're like four foot eleven or five. <laughs> yeah. They're midgets. <laughs> the midgets, yeah. bro. Why are they talking about height, bro? True. Bro, I, I, bro there was one there was one teacher here. She said, "I would date. I only date. I only date." Um, I only date black men who are six foot five and over. This woman, this oh, chick God. is five foot. So you date, you're, you're dating a, a a dude who's a foot taller than you. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Carry you? <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna carry you, bro. bro. It doesn't make any sense. And bro, if if he go, if that dude goes out with you, he, oh my days, you're gonna spoil the genetics of that child. Yeah, it's like yeah. Oh if if he if he actually um if he you know genes are a lottery. So if he gets her pregnant, the child can come up as five foot, and they might miss these six foot five genes. But if he got over like a five foot eight chick, the child would be taller. You know, so why why would he waste his genes on a midget like like her? You know? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, man. Like, Don't like make sense. Man. Every every time, brother. In the UK, it's like, oh, oh, if if you're if you are below six foot five, don't talk to me. Wow. Okay. Cool. The same chick she said we have had. All right. You don't want to chick. You can maybe hit the wall. Start being angry. Oh, you're misogynist. Oh, you're sexist. How? how? We have preferences. You have preferences. Mm. Like, I don't understand. And it's, it's, it's double standards. They don't like it when... And, it's, and also equality. They don't like it when equality is not in their favour. Mm. Facts. And, a lot um, of the times, I just, I just want to throw mud in their faces for just yeah. know, the stupid statements they say. I just want to throw mud in their face, man. Like, get out of my face, man. It's just... yeah. It's ridiculous, but thank you, Thomas. Um, Chad, Chad the Great and Sai Sachi, can you turn your cameras on in the background so I know you're not trolls? Confirm, Chad, confirm, Sai. Thank you, brothers. What was that, Bolt? I mean, it, we really shouldn't worry about these quiches and you know, <laughs> these American women, they're, they're headed for the wall, anyways, if they don't change their mindset. You know, absolutely, it, we control the keys to marriage. In, all that they don't and they want to set their bar that high you know what they're not going to get a man because <laughs> only 14 percent of the u.s population is over six foot anyways only 14 percent 
So if they want to chase that, go ahead. It's just I'm not going to be It's not going to be easy to find. Mm. And brother, and they're the, not going to be brother, happy. When, brother, when they reach thirty, oh, where all the good men left? Why can't I get a man? They're on TikTok rambling about, oh, oh, this guy rejected me. I can't get a good man. They're crying, but they're crying. Oh, and they're calling Kevin Samuels. Oh, I can't get a, I can't get a high value man. These men ain't checking for you. You hit the wall. Thomas, you got me cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring in. Um, thank you, brothers. Let me bring in. Uh, Chad the Great. What's going on, Chad? Not much, man. What's going on with you guys? And hey, nothing much, Chad. Nothing much, brother. How are you keeping? Uh, man, I'm still adjusting to being back in America, man. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, man. I wish I was still in Brazil. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You at Brazil. Where were you, Rio? Yeah, I was there for like nine days, man. Damn. How was that? Uh, it was difficult at first, but it, it got it got good. Um, like the latter half of the trip. Um, uh, uh quick quote for Pimento, man. You got to get some bass in your voice, and you got to get some confidence, man. Uh, the first step is going in the gym, man. Go to the gym and and, and work out and, and build a better body, and you're gonna gain some confidence, man. Yeah, good point, man. Get the muscle up, Pimento, man. Forget about your height, you know. Something you, you can't change your height. You were born that height, so genetics. Um, so you can't change that, bro. But you can change your weight and your appearance. Hit the gym, get muscle, you know. So when you wear a shirt, your arms are ripping through your shirt. Your woman at all, oh, he, he's ripped. You know, carry on, Chad. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> you know, it was weird. Uh, with the whole Megan the Stallion situation, a stallion is a male horse, a female horse is a mare. <laughs> So I don't know why she calls herself a stallion. Um, uh, in regards, she looks to the like top- a horse anyway, bro. She looks like a horse. <laughs> a horse with weave. <laughs> hey, you promise, man. You're gonna get me in trouble here, man. My gosh, Thomas, man. You know how these <laughs> ladies are. Oh, you're attacking BWs. Oh, oh you. fucking hell, man. You, you Keisha, she's done this to yourself. I'll attack you. I don't yeah, care yeah. about you, Keisha. I love Very guys from UK, man. They have a dark sense of humor. Hey, don't cap, bro. It, it be the the fat ones, the ones that have the highest standards. The fat chicks always bro, want look to at Lizzo, bro. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> did, 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 didn't Lizzo hold on, hold on, IP, IP, hold on. Didn't Lizzo want Chris Evans, Captain America? Man, probably because she got rejected, bro. Go, Captain America's like, go away, bro. Bobby saw, probably might eat my shield. He, 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 Captain America, he, you might eat my shield, bro. Stay away from me, bro. You, you horse. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, carry on, Chad. Uh, in regards to the topic, man, you do not need game overseas. I live in the nightclubs in South Beach, and you need game to get the girls to go to the club or even take a girl home. Uh, the reason why, the main reason I actually became a, a club promoter is because I had difficulties talking to like bad women. I never had issues talking to women, but like nines and tens, I always had kind of a difficulty talking to them. And working in the in the nightlife um, gave me the confidence. I had to face that fear of talking to good looking women. I have no problem dealing with good looking women or talking to them, but they're a headache to deal with here, man. So, um, uh, I deal with it because I have to, but I also travel. Um, uh. So overseas, you don't need any game, man. Here's some tips you need overseas if you're gonna travel to uh um talk to women or whatever you want to do. Um basically, um, you need to learn the language of wherever you're going. You definitely want to learn a language, whether it's uh you go in a Spanish country or you're going to Europe, you want to learn German or um uh French, or you go to like Brazil or Portugal, you're gonna need to learn Portuguese or Japan, you need to learn Japanese or Mandarin in China. And then you also want to learn the culture. You don't want to go over there and not know anything about somebody else's culture. That's two ways a woman will know you're trying. And they'll give you credit. Even if you don't know the language, if you just know a few things about the culture and the language, they'll give you credit for, for it and they'll work with you on that. 
Um, and then the second thing is just be confident. Um, uh, confidence. Um, uh, what women can sense it. Like they can, they, they, they can sense when you're, um, uh, uh, pretty much when you're lame, man. Like a, a lot of women, like American women, put up with it because either usually they want something from me. But women overseas, man, they like confidence. They hate masculinity overseas, man. Like toxic ma masculinity, women hate that. Like if you um talk to a lot of Latin women, they call it uh, machismo, and they say no, no machismo. That's basically on the uh, uh, toxic masculinity, like where men are like very dominant. A lot of guys don't notice, like. American women like that, but in other countries, the women di dislike that. That's why um uh they say that American men, uh I mean um women in other countries love American men because American men are raised in a patriarchy where they're taught to value women's opinion. In other countries, men don't give a crap about their opinions at all. That's why a lot of women either um are trying to get with American men, not not for a visa, but for a man that values their opinion or value their input. So a lot of guys don't don't know that they, and then um uh a lot of women overseas um uh they like attention and affection like you know in America is weird where you get a woman's number you ignore her and don't talk to her for a while and that's the way to gain her respect or attention it's the complete opposite in other countries man so leaving America it's a total one eighty like I had to get used to it whether I was going to like Colombia or Dominican Republic or Mexico or Brazil like women like confident men. They hate like toxic um uh masculine men and they like attention and affection. Um uh that's why they say like um uh certain countries like um um uh like Brazil or um uh or France or Italy or whatever, the women love those type of men or love men that um go to those go to those uh spots because uh the men sh show some sort of affection towards women and um uh that's their vibe. Okay, thank you, Chad. Thank you. Much appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll reach, I'm going to reach out to you on Saturday to speak to you about your real trip, if, if that's okay, brother. All right. All right. Thank you, Chad. Much appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Um, let me bring in um, Mr. Sai Saichi. Wealthy educated. Can you turn your camera on in the background briefly? Just so I know you're not a troll. Yeah, thank you, brother. You're confirmed. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. So I'll put you in after Sai Saichi, wealthy educated. Brothers, can we please get the cash apps, the likes up, and the super chats as well, please? That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you, brothers. How are you doing, Sai? Hey, how you doing? I, I'm doing good, brother. How are you? I'm good. I just saw the uh, I just saw the title of this uh, live stream, so I figured I'd come in. Um, of course. So I, based on what you guys were kind of just talking about, because I literally just joined, like, what, maybe like 10 minutes ago? I haven't been here that long. So if you already discussed this, my apologies. But... Um, I wanted to ask, and you know, anybody in here, feel free to chime in and give your thoughts from your experiences, because obviously we're all collaborating here to kind of help each other out. Um, from those of you who have traveled and gone overseas, um, it seems to me that in America, um, I remember uh, IP, you made a stream about this a while back about how like black men have to be Hercules here in mm -hmm. order to pull like quality women. Whereas it seems like overseas, it's like, no, like if you're just like a regular dude who has like, you know, like a career, has something going for him, whatnot, is in reasonable shape, like you can actually have a dating life. Whereas like in America, like a, like an average, like bare minimum white guy can still seem to do reasonably all right here. But mm. for us, it just seems like we kind of have to do a bit more. Like we have to be like D1 athletes and like have clout or be like entertainers or something like that. It's like the reality is most of us aren't like that. Most of us are just regular dudes working nine to fives of careers and whatnot, just paying bills, just trying to handle our business. But um, I wanted to ask just from those of you here, do you guys, assuming that you guys are regular, you know, regular Joes and whatnot, have you guys um, had a reasonable experience overseas? I have. Definitely, I, I have 100%. Very good experience overseas. Uh, I can't speak for other brothers, but we'll go around. Sure. Uh, Tom Thomas hasn't. Tra I don't know if Thomas has traveled, or well, maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. Um, I have. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I had a good experience in France, um, Paris, and Versailles, particularly those two. Um, to Paris, I've been to Dubai. Good experience. Um, Nigeria, been to Nigeria. Decent experience. But I need to do more traveling, to be honest. I've got a list, so 
So just working on myself to travel. Oh. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, Chad? Uh, from what I experienced traveling to like Latin countries, man, um, I'm not even going to lie. You really don't have to do any work. The woman will come to you. Like, yeah. uh, you pretty much just have to be confident and um, uh, just be yourself, man. Like, I keep telling brothers, like, maybe 3% of straight men in America, 3% of straight black men in America travel, 3 to 4%. So we're talking <laughs> about it wherever we go. So the uh, like I, I was saying earlier, we are raised in a matriarchy where we're raised by uh, most uh, guys in America are raised by single mothers where we're taught to care about a woman's feelings and and, and whatever she's, she's thinking. So a lot of women overseas uh, value that. Um, in America, it's not value, but it is overseas. But in Latin countries, um, uh, uh, the women will approach you. They're not afraid because um, uh, they know what they want. And um, uh, they're, they're they're pretty much trying to start a family, man. It's, it's a family unit in other countries. Like that's how it used to be in, in America. The only place where I had to really like put in work is um, Brazil, because um, uh, in their culture it's more of um, uh, a cold approach and um, interaction and talking and um, um, uh, touching and 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 um, like kissing on the cheek and so on and so forth. It's more of an interaction thing, like social media. And stuff really don't work there. You really have to go in and put in the work. But a woman, they're very friendly, just like they're in, in any other Latin country. Okay. Thank you, Chad. Um, Primuto hasn't traveled yet. He's 19. Uh, Bolt, have you I traveled? Uh, I traveled to Israel a few years ago, but I was when I was young with my parents, so I can't really say much, unfortunately. That's, that's fine, brother. Uh, yeah, so that answered your question, Sai Sai Chi. Is that it? Um, I so basically, I the basically the the last thing I have in my mind here, and I just kind of want you know chime in and say what's up. Is so I have you know you know how I'm always dabbling, playing around with Tinder and whatnot, just with a variety of different kinds of things I do. Some countries I do better than others, but overall, it's definitely been a way better experience than what I've ever had in the U.S. I actually didn't get my uh. I've never had a girl like message me first or, you know, slide into my DMs, whatever you want to call it, or super like me until I finally put my Tinder overseas. And I was like, huh, all of a sudden now I have visibility. This is good. But um, I did want to ask just from, you know, your experiences and also uh, what's what's that one guy's name? Chad, the one that was talking about Brazil. Yeah, yeah. Chad, that's me. Um, since you guys have had enough experiences going overseas, do you find that um, black guys can play into more, I guess you could say, archetypes overseas while still being considered desirable? So, for example, in America, it seems as though if you're not like the thug, the entertainer or the athlete, you're definitely going to have to put in a lot more work to get some play. Whereas like maybe overseas, like maybe even like a Carlton type black, guy can actually have a pretty reasonable dating life in other countries. Like I know Carlton's do very well in like Asia, for example. Hmm. Thanks. Um, uh, I mean, I'll oh, go on, Chad. Now go ahead, go ahead. No, you go, you go, bro. Um, from what I've seen, man, really, uh, there is no archetype when when you travel like in, into like Latin America. The only archetype they'll look at you is if you're really tall. They think you're um uh, and uh probably an NBA player or something of that sort. But just being black, you're desirable, and then at the same time, um, just have something going for you, um. What I should say is like women in other countries are still very primitive when it when it comes to uh, mating and dating compared to America, where everything here is um uh, like quick and instant and being independent. Everything in other other countries is still um uh, family oriented. So even if um uh, a girl want to hang out with you, whatever she she's gonna tell her mom or father or brother some something and so forth, or she really likes you, she's gonna bring you back to the family. The family really has to like really approve of you um for her to like start dating so on and so forth here the woman um uh has to approve you mm -hmm. first then maybe if she likes you that much she might introduce you to her family so it really is an archetype in other countries it's really built re really not, um built on like a, a family thing if she likes you she try to introduce you to her family and they see you as as who you are or whatever you can bring to the family Either, either you can or can't take care of my daughter. Uh, mm -hmm. it, I'd be dramatic to chime in on the brother's on. question. 
Um, yeah. Brother Bolts. Um, I see Pookie, Ray Ray's, Tyrone's. Uh, but they're gonna get deported if they go to these. If they travel, they're gonna get deported. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Um, <laughs> brother Bolt, the on brother Bolt. Come on, bro. When brother, if a I think it was Sai Saichi that put that question. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, brother Sai Saichi. Brother, come on. If a Pookie goes to Germany, he ain't gonna learn German. He ain't gonna learn the German culture. You see, mm. us brothers here, yeah, we're Renaissance men. The difference between a, Reno, a Renaissance man and a Pookie and Ray Ray is a Renaissance man, we're intelligent. We actually, we're, we love culture. We love art. We love learning different languages. These Pookies, bro, just gonna go to country and try to smash. Like, come on, man. They're, they're, they're going to get deported in their first week abroad. They've got no chance. They're, bro, the only women that are going after them are the Keishas from the block. Mm. And and you know what? The Becky, the wannabe Becky. No, the mm. Beckys, you want to be black. Bro, whenever I see a Becky and she <laughs> only tells me, I only date black guys. Nah, stay away from her. Nah, yep. go away. Go yeah. away. Oh, of course. Uh, I mean, he, there's, there's, there's a difference between, right, only going for black guys and, you know, being interested in and uh, being interested in black guys in, in terms of, oh, I've not dated one before. He, sound, he looks interesting, et cetera, et cetera. There's, there's a clear difference there. What I've noticed is that these races of women that only go for brothers wear big hoop earrings, right, uh, are trashy, have a lot of tattoos. Some are, a lot of them are overweight. Some are just flower ugly. And I'm keeping it real, my no cap, right? Um, have bad attitudes, just look horrible in general, and just like crap, right? I want brothers to stop going after these women. I want brothers to not give these women any light of day. Ignore them, block their number, block them on social media, because I'm sick and tired of brothers accepting these women that only date brothers. No, they they low value. They are low mm -hmm. value. They're lower than dogs. Ooh. You know, please keep away from these women. I'm sick of yeah, it. Man. Yeah, I see you both with fat or bees, uh, Becky's. <laughs> it makes me sick out here in the UK, man. Fat Betty Becky's. <laughs> What's wrong with you, brothers, man? Man, you can go to Sweden and get you a slim, thick, um, white chick. I don't, I don't know what's going on with brothers, man. Brothers are desperate. You know? Yeah, the desperate. desperation in the community is sickening. I see these fat obese Beckys with a big hoop earrings, um, tied hair. You think I'm happy to see that? You're representing me, brother. I'm in a suit. I walk past you, and you're with your fat, ugly Becky. <laughs> F off, man. <laughs> F off. Hey, thank you, um, Sai <laughs> Saichi. Uh, I'm yeah. about to go into the next corner. I'm sick of it, Thomas, man. I mean, like, it's happens. I heard it's it's a big thing in the USA as well. In these, um, in in the South, you know, Indiana, Texas, brothers with fat Beckys. Burn that, Brother, man. Do you, think, do you think it's a fetish? No, it's just some of them are just would they anything with white skin. But if you're gonna go with white girls, right? Just go like travel. Go for the top notch white white girls. And there's some mm. good, decent-looking white girls in America. I've come across them in the UK. So why can't you go after that? Why are you only going after the first white girl you see that gives you play? Right? I don't date fat chicks. They make me sick. I'm keeping it real. I'm not, I'm not even being rude here, but I just can't. I can't deal with a fat chick. Brother, do you think um maybe these desperate brothers, these liberal brothers, do you think uh I can't date these chicks because they are they're higher than me? Um, I mean, uh, if, if if you can't if you can't get uh, the the best looking woman of 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 other races, I don't think you should date out your race. In my opinion, I've always yeah, said you, this, right? Yeah. You should you should. I'd rather you date the ugliest woman in your race and the ugliest woman of other races because it makes us look bad. Yeah. You know, just just date a black mm. girl. She may be ugly, but just keep it. Just stay with a black girl. You know, if you if you're gonna date outside your race, please go for the top notch ladies. Please do it because it just there's just no point, man. 
It makes mm. me look bad. It makes the field view look bad. It makes Thomas look bad. It makes us all look bad, man. I'm sick of seeing that 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 mix. Um, dusty black dude with his fat, ugly Becky. F off, man. Oh, so let me let me read a couple of super chats. Let me go. Let me bring in some next callers, man. Everyone, put himself on mute, please. Um, oh, oh, Mister Indy sixty seven. Thank you very much for the forty dollars super chat. Much appreciated, bro. This brother, um, he says here, uh, I just joined the start of. He just joined the stream, and this brother's putting up forty dollars. That's love right there, man. That's that's real support right there. Thank you very much, Indy sixty seven. Much appreciated, brother. Thank you very much for the forty dollar donation. Thank you, bro. And shout out to Mr. Kingu Kitsune for the thirty-seven pounds eighty pence cash out. Thank you, bro. He came through. Thank you, brother. He says, "Guess who's back? Guess who's Bazak?" Then, who remembers that song by Cut by Scarface and uh, <laughs> who else was it? Kanye West and um, Beanie Mac. This is old school, man. Brother, you brothers were probably too young for that. Um, I got a new PC and job. Congratulations, brother, on your new PC and job. Well done, bro. Um, all the best to you. Hope you get a promotion very soon and a, and, a, and a pay rise. It means a lot to me to see brothers leveling up in their new jobs. Well done, King of Kitsune. Thank you again for the £37.80 cash out. Thank you, bro. Wonderful. Um, let's get it popping. Let me bring in... Um, okay. Wealthy Educated, the field view, I see you, bro. Stay on the line, brother. Uh, wealthy Educated, how are you doing, bro? I'm doing great. How are you all? Fantastic, bro. I've not seen you here before, brother. Are you new to the channel? Yeah, well, I, I've been, been following your channel for a while. It's the first time I called in. You encouraged me since we were, there was some banter in the chat. I might as well just call in. Why not? You know. Fantastic, bro. Brother, what's your thoughts on the live stream topic? So, when it comes to game, it depends on, in my opinion, in my travel opinion experience, it depends on where you are. I think like in South South America, like Brazil, you don't need as much game uh, because as soon as you off step off the plane, you're, you're defeating like 90% of the male population there just because you have US dollars in your pocket and you just come from a different culture. Now on the other side of the spectrum, I'll say like, uh, like the Netherlands where I, used, I went to school at, you have to have game around Dutch women because they're wealthy, they're well educated, and if you come with the pookie game or the celebrity game, they just it works. So you got to show up. Uh, you got to be intellectual. You got to talk about history, art, culture, you know, current affairs. That's their expectation. But once you step into that lane, you can win overseas. Like you know, overseas in uh, the Netherlands or even France. Or I even say Belgium's the same way. But it's you got to have some game, in my opinion. Now that I know there's probably some people on the panel disagree, but what I'm saying is in you, in the EU, especially West country, you got to have some game. You just can't go over there and just be basic. It's not going to work. Yeah, uh, remember uh, the Dutch is in the West. Remember that wealth educated. Um, <laughs> that's in the West. But personally, right, I didn't need game when I went to Germany. You know, I know that's in the West. It was just me approaching her saying, hey, I'm from the UK. Where are you from in Germany? Oh, I'm from Munich. I'm from Berlin. Oh, cool. Um, do you mind if you take me around sometime on a Thursday? Like, yeah, sure. Awesome. She took me around. We got coffee. Then we, I took it further from there. I didn't need no game, you know. Morocco mm -hmm. as well. I didn't I didn't need no game in, in Morocco. Norway didn't need no game. So I think in America, UK, there are some places where you do need game. And that's why I told brothers to actively avoid these places. So where, where, where feminism is, where liberalism is, like Primitu says, where there's a lot of these weirdos there, you know, who are on that nonsense, you do yeah. need game. But South America, Japan, the field view will touch upon that later on. I don't think you even need game in Japan. You know, he would break it down for us very, very soon. It's just being confident. And he even said that they will look at you, they will stare at you down. So, they're giving you choosing signals. In the West, women don't give you choosing signals, bro. No, no. They, they no. expect you to do all the work, you know. How am I supposed to know you like me when you ain't giving me no choosing signals? It's crazy, you're supposed bro. To have, you're supposed to have my reading skills. That's what they expect, right? No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. You're supposed to be, um, well, what's that show on Amazon Prime? Um, Invincible. You're supposed to be that guy who can do everything, you know, right. have superpowers, read people's minds. Uh, shoot out uh, I beams, ridiculous, bro. Carry on, man. Yeah, 
So I gotta I gotta warn the young man that wants to go to Japan, the 19 year old. Now I've personally never been to Japan, but I've dated a couple of Japanese girls because I live in California. And I'm just warning you, man, Japanese women will blow your mind. Am I, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> you just, I mean, just be ready. <laughs> hey, hey, you're right, bro. I think he, I think he hey, I think he, he can't he might not be able to handle one, bro. It might be too much for him, man. He might he might start being like Mr. Yoshi from Dragon Ball Z and start breathing out his nose. You know? Yeah, maybe a good thing or a bad thing. You may ruin them or help them. I don't know, but just just be ready, brother. So I can say. Yeah, I think it, sometimes I think that the femininity might be too much for you. you might start having this seizure and shaking. IP, I can't handle her, bro. I can't handle her, bro. Help me, IP. Help me, IP. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you probably right? are joking, man. Yeah. Hey, so you're right. in Cali. So you're, you, you, yeah. you are, so you're telling me out there in Cali the Japanese women are checking for brothers. Oh yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, you just they're everywhere. Japan, there's Japanese women. There's Filipino. It's it's everything. It's SoCal. And we have okay. everything. It's, it's, a, it's a melting pot out here, I guess they call it. So, it, it, yeah. is it is it the American-born Japanese woman or the Japanese woman that migrated as immigrants? You know. That so the, the the ones that I I hollered at were they migrated. They were from Japan and came over. So they were here for like for school or business. So, but I do see brothers with. American born Japanese or Asian women as well in California. It's, it's just normal over here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you, Wealth Educated. Um, yeah. Can you reach out to me on IG, please? Do you have my IG? Yes, I have it. Uh, please send me a message, brother. I want to speak to you more about that uh, personally. Yes, if that's okay, brother. Yeah, so I'm that's looking okay. forward to seeing a message for you from you very, very soon, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let me put you on mute, Wealth Educated. Put yourself on the background. The field view, are you ready, brother? Should I, should I, do you, want to turn off, do you want to turn off your camera or should I bring you on with your camera? Okay. Let me bring in the legend, Mr. The Field View. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on? Hey, I'm doing good, man. How are you keeping, brother? Um, pretty good. Actually, sorry, I'm having like a technical issue. Could you, so I'm, oh my God, hold on. Okay. I'm, um. I'm also the other field view in here, and I'm just holding my phone right now. That's why I have a different icon. Could you? Do you want me to bring in that other field view and take off this yes, one? Yes, please. No problem. Okay. Can you hear us a field view? Can you hear me now? Loud and clear, brother. Okay, dope. Um, sorry about that. What's going on, fellas? I, uh, I was listening, and um, I was... Um, hearing some promising things. Um, you know, uh, I, I heard the, uh, the other gentleman say that, uh, he thought that it was mainly Carlton's that were, uh, that were winning in, uh, in Japan. And, yeah. um, yeah, I mean the, the sort of prim trim, the educated individual, um, I, I think on, on the stream that you and I were on, uh, IP, you said that, uh, they, they probably would be confused by the crip walk. Yeah. They would, they would definitely be confused by that sort of, goofy approach that a lot of black guys like to do uh for some reason and um as long as as long as you're you're proper with uh with japanese women um i don't know if you'll be a shoe in but you'll definitely get a lot of attention and uh that death there that you were just talking about that's definitely that's a that's a real thing hey brother right now i'm, I'm imagining a brother approaching the japanese by a crip walking and then do you doing the doggy in front of her you yeah. be like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they would be so confused. They would be so confused. It's like, is he suffering from? Is he having a Caesar? Caesar? Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I agreed with uh, everything that that y'all just said. I did get in really late. Um, but uh, is there is there like a topic? Yeah. So, um, so the, the stream topic is so. There, there's there's a there's a huge sentiment going around on YouTube uh, about how brothers who are lames in America and can't get women in America won't be able to get women abroad. So basically, if you're a lame in America, you're also a lame abroad. I strongly disagree with that because I've seen brothers who can't get chicks in America get dimes abroad and live completely different lives than they were living in America. Do you 100%. agree with that, brother, or do you yeah. disagree? Well, I so the only thing that I would disagree with is that the sentiment that we're 
like we're lame in the United States. I think the system is broken and that's why we're seen as quote lame. Um, like going abroad and finding someone that treats you with respect and like a normal human being, like a man, um, is not like an odd thing depending on like whether or not you, you know, you fill out the, the boundaries of some sort of stereotype for a black man. Um, we, we, we've been winning for a long time and we went in a lot of different areas and in a lot of different countries. And it's not because we're lame at all. I mean, there's nothing embarrassing about being intelligent or being well-spoken, um, not using the N word, um, not being sucked into this sort of horrible culture that we've been allowed to be sucked in. I mean, yeah. it's my own personal opinion, but I think that uh, whenever we talk about like black culture in the United States, there's an aspect of it that's really toxic. And I, I would even say that you can compare it to like a form of minstrelsy because it's not necessarily something that we chose. It's something that was chosen for us to be in. Mm. And um, that that ends up being at the end of the day, a constriction, because whenever you talk about being black or is is this person black enough? It usually ends up being based off of the assumption that they make based off of like that the assumption that they make compared to the stereotype that they want you to be. Or that they've produced for us and that's um that's just that's at the root of a person sitting down and saying something like a lame brother is going to make it overseas because or a lame brother is not going to a lame brother in the united states or or in the west is going to be lame overseas and that's um that's just not true i mean it's it's based off of a a broken set of like illogical ideas you know Absolutely. You know, um, you know, there's a sentiment that if you're a brother that's not getting women in America, like you, you don't have a roster of chicks, there's something wrong with you. You know, me yeah. checking out the dating scene, me not wanting to deal with UK women anymore doesn't make me uh, a lame. This brother said, can I do the Harlem shake when I approach? Please don't do that. I would make it even more uh, embarrassing. Um me not dealing with UK chicks anymore doesn't mean I'm a lame, you know? It doesn't mean that I can't handle strong women. Because people, because personally, brother, I don't date women that, that have graduated or studied at top universities. So if she's been to Oxford, Cambridge, MIT, Stanford, Harvard, uh, that's a no for me because those universities uh, create masculine women. I, I've dealt with some in the past. I don't want to do that experience anymore, right? Yeah, and people would, people would tell me that, oh, IP, you're weak. You can't handle a strong woman because she's educated. How dare you? What's your thoughts about that, the field view? Well, I, you know, I would say that that point of view is is perfectly fine. It's just that I don't I don't think you have a problem dealing with educated people. I think that just those institutions make people like they distort people's behavior. Like education is not the same thing as being. Um, like, I don't know, someone who supports misandry or, or someone who, who, um, who behaves in these like goofy ways that, that I think a lot of women from these universities end up behaving in. It doesn't mean that you have more education because you support like the, the general standard that's, that's been, you know, propagandized from those institutions. It, it, it means that you're from those institutions. It means that you're a part of those specific tribes if you go to japan and you get an education which a lot of japanese women have a high education level they still end up behaving like women they still end up <laughs> acting a certain way it's not yeah. it doesn't like high high levels of education doesn't remove femininity mm -hmm. um it's it's something it's something else and it's um I mean, I would I would stay clear of it. I, I I think what you're talking about is is perfectly fine, but it's um it's definitely not a, a a thing associated with education. Even though, sadly, I think because of a bit of like emotional manipulation, a bit of um I would even call it a, sort of like gaslighting. I I think it's a, a form of gaslighting when people say you can't deal with a strong woman, you can't deal with an educated woman. An educated woman and a strong woman isn't going to necessarily. <laughs> It shouldn't act like the way they've been acting in the United States and in the UK and in the West. It's not that's not a, a normal thing. Um, yep. I think strength yep. can easily come from a different place. And so can education. 
Yes, indeed. And on that note, um, shout out to Mr. Sean Camp for the £18.78 cash out. Thank you very much, Sean Camp, for uh, the donation. It is greatly appreciated, brother. Thank you so much. Shout out to Sean Camp, long-time supporter. Been on this channel for a couple of years now. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much, brother. Um, so, special announcement, brothers. Um, I'm planning to do a Japanese woman versus Filipina woman debate live stream. Um, so I I will set up the teams for that. The field view, Thomas would definitely be on the Japanese side, obviously, <laughs> since they they love Japanese um, woman. Um, then oh, we'll get, um, or, or maybe it could be Japanese woman versus Colombian woman or a different group of maybe Co Costa Rican women, but I'm trying to decide it, but it will definitely be Japanese women in this stream. And I'm, I'm going to set up the team. So anyone that's team, um, team Filipina woman, press a one in the chat right now and get in touch with me on IG. Um, and then anyone who's actually yeah, anyone with team, team Filipina woman, please uh, press a one, one in the chat and message me on IG so we can set some teams up. What was that Thomas? IP man, I, I, what, you, you're making my job easier for me, bro. <laughs> like <laughs> you're making my job easier, bro. After after I slaughtered Team Latino, you, you're gonna give me you're gonna give me more more victims. Why are you doing this, IP, bro? Hey, bro, let me tell you this, man. I feel like Filipina <laughs> women might give Japanese women a run for their money because a lot of brothers nah, I'm seeing nah, that they love nah. a lot of brothers love nah. Filipina women more than Japanese women. Brothers, you know? that's that's why I feel. Brother, brother, come on, brother. A lot of brothers <laughs> they're marrying Japanese women and then making beautiful black Japanese children. Come on, brother. <laughs> You're making you're making our job easy, in it, in it. Aren't I right, a brother team um, field view? Come on, brother. Yeah, I, I. You know, I'd have to. There's there's a lot of good things to say about about Japanese women. I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you're right. We're we're probably going to just destroy we're, people. I don't know. We're going to destroy people, mate. Oh my gosh. Well, my I'm fault. Like, I was I'm trying to be fair and balanced, but it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm, 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 brother, but for the IP, I'm gonna be like Vegeta when he when he was in the same saga, man, just murdering people left and right. <laughs> I feel like a Filipino woman might give um Japanese women a, a a run for the money, man. A lot of brothers are on that Filipino woman time. I've seen it in America, I've seen it on YouTube channels, they love Filipino women, man. And in my opinion, Filipino women show give brothers more play than japanese women i may be brother, wrong there but that's that's why i see you know brother ip have really you seen, have you seen yeah. a japanese have you seen a japanese brazilian woman have you seen a a, ja a brazilian filipina woman oh <laughs> is, is that a, is that a thing i felt like you just said something like like have you seen the Loch Ness monster i don't even know if that's a real is that a real thing <laughs> Uh, nope, I've, I've not seen one, but I'm just posing that question. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I'm just, you know, <laughs> have you seen a Brazilian Japanese woman in person, though? Oh, have you seen that? Oh, man. Right? Oh, I'm not. I have. Pardon? Tell me how did was that? Was that in Rio, right? Uh, yeah, I was um uh walking uh, basically um on Sundays, uh Copacabana, pretty much the street by Copacabana is uh they have uh, uh like a three lane street on each side with a big median and then they have like a walking area um on sundays every sunday they close off one of the sides of the streets and um uh i was passing by the sunday before i left not this past sunday but a sunday before they had this huge like um uh crowd of older japanese people walking along um, um uh walking along the street and it was very awkward watching them speak Portuguese. I'm like, this is very different. And then um, uh, with the older people, they had like their like grandchildren or, or children walking along with them. Like it was like a big crowd of Japanese people. It was, it was at least about a hundred of them. And I saw them. I saw a lot of like Japanese girls walking walking along with them. I was like, wow, this is weird. But at the same time, it's very like intriguing to watch at the same time. Or they're oh. good looking. Yeah, that's the but question. By intrig, yeah, so, by intriguing, do you mean sexy? Is that what you're saying? Um, well, uh, uh, it 
It was um, uh, it was a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot. It's, it's a no, it's a no. Then uh. no, 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 I'm saying it was, it was um, it was mainly older people, but um, oh, oh. Some of them had had children with them, but they did have some like um girls with them that are of age that because you know Japanese in the Jap in the Asian and um uh Latin culture they're really about family taking care of their their the elder statesmen in the family. So yeah, that's true. Beautiful woman walking along with with the elder family family members. That's true. Okay. All hold right, on, brother. Right. Um, um, shout out to hold on, Thomas. Shout out to the Sad Switch Sideshow for the nine ninety nine dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Sad Switch Sideshow, for your donation. It means a lot to me, brother. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, when you go and teach us to get an English waifu that speaks the Queen's English, <laughs> oh, dear. shout out to Side Side Chief. Oh, no. oh dear. Oh no. I have to talk, yeah. have to talk about this, man. I'm tired. Of, said- I'm tired of hearing women with the with the English accent, brothers. It's not that special, man. On a woman's on a woman's uh, sound, exactly. it's not. In my in my opinion, I actually prefer the American accent on a woman. I know that might sound crazy <gasps> to brothers, but you know, I'm I'm done with these English girls, man. They're just not they're not it for me. I'm I'm sick and tired about hearing that accent, hearing the entitlement. I'm done with them, man. So, good luck, brothers. Go on, go on, Thomas. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm sick of UK women as well. When I was coming home here, yeah, I was in London Bridge waiting for the train. All I could hear them shouting. I was like, okay, I went to McDonald's, got myself a, a big Mac meal. Yeah, just shouting, very entitled. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so annoying. I'm sick of UK women. You, you, brother, you prefer American women. No, I mean like no, I mean like the act, the accent. You know, I prefer the accent over. I I would, I would like I like the American accent on a on a on a woman. It, yeah, it just he, sounds he, different. Yeah. You know, I like the sound. The, <laughs> yeah, the sound like you know, like the Californian LA accent. It just sounds really like um feminine like in it, my bro. opinion. Oh, the, the, I don't, wait, I don't, wait, wait, wait. Uh, question. Like it, I, I find that a not. A, a not brother. Brother, yeah. I, brother, I'd rather I'd rather be deaf than hear the accents. <laughs> Brother, I, do you, do you, do you, I, I'll tell you this, brother. The accent I love the most, it's a tie between um, French, German, Russian, Colo- Spanish. And I'm, being, I'm, being too, I'm being too greedy now. That's like five yeah. ties, bro. <laughs> um, That's like five ties, bro. At least two, bro. Okay, I think two. Time. Okay, two. Okay. Um, he said tie, and I was thinking of two of them. He was like 17. <laughs> Okay, okay, tie. It's a tie between Russian and French. No, Russian and German. Definitely Russian and German. I can't get enough okay. Russian Russian women. They're as tough as cookies, man. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah. When I, when, I mean, when, come bro. Whenever I hear a Russian woman speak, I don't want to simp. I'm not simping to a Russian woman. But when Damn, they speak, dude. They're mesmerizing. Mm. Yeah, I think that Eastern European accent that is attractive. The Polish, Lithuanian, uh, Russian is Ukraine is very feminine. Uh, the field of view and Thomas is super feminine and, and attractive. I, w- I would definitely, ag- I would definitely agree with that. I um, I I really need to go to Germany, but um, yeah, I I would agree with that. Russian and German would probably be my um my my places of of interest under under japan and i'm just i'm just being honest i'm just being honest based off of very little information so i need to hurry up and uh, travel ip is it safe for brothers to go to russia is it would you say uh, it's better for us to find a russian woman in the uk or in america or in canada find a russian woman brothers uh find a russian woman in germany there's russians in germany uh, oh, you can cool, find cool, cool. Russians in. There's a lot of Russians in uh, Cuba. Surprisingly, Cuba. Did you, uh, did you watch my Patreon exclusive stream, Thomas? That point on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the brother was, actually he said that he smashed uh, a lot of Russians there in Cuba. A lot, and he said that dying Russian woman. There's a lot of Russians there in Cuba. Um, yeah. He's so there's Russians in Dominican Republic also. What Ooh. What are you doing over there, bro? Uh, a lot of them have moved to like uh, the coast, like Punta Cana. A lot of them are there. Okay, and I've heard some very good intel that 
Russian women have some sort of love towards brothers, and I don't know what's causing it. What's caused it? I think it might be the Soviet Union stuff, whatever, regarding how they um, helped out Africans and Black Americans during um, the 1950s and 60s. There's some sort of love and connection between Russian women and brothers, and which is very weird, you know, and that's good because Russian women are hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to ask questions. I'm just going to accept the connection. Yeah. <laughs> brother, do, do, you know what, brother, do you know what I really want a Russian woman to do? I want her to do an ASMR. I really want to, <laughs> I really want them to do an ASMR. I'll, I'll, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's just there's something about Russian, and I, I knew one a couple of years ago, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't pursue it back then because Russians weren't my. They weren't my type. They weren't my tea, per se, back then. And she was. She was a model, you know. She was although quite skinny for me. You know, I like them a bit meaty, slim, thick, not fat, slim, thick, gym, mm, gym, mm. thick. Um, she was a bit skinny. That's why I didn't really pay her that much attention. But she asked me for my Facebook, my number while I was doing one particular weekend. I told, I told her I was busy that weekend and she just kind of, uh, she got the message and just left me alone. But uh, but she was cute, you know? And I think if I go back in time, I would probably date her, but I just wasn't interested in her. Um, I wasn't interested in Becky's back eyes. then. She was, um, was she I think she had green eyes and she had like, she was a brunette. She was a model green eyes. as well. Yeah. You said uh, I just I just didn't I wasn't interested in her. Damn IPU. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't interested, man. I, I don't know. I wasn't into that kind of racial type of ladies. Back then it was mostly black women. And um I think it was more uh, towards okay. Filipina women back then. Um I just wasn't into the Becky's, to be honest. But now yeah. But when it comes to Becky's, I love the, the Eastern European women are, in my opinion, the best looking Becky's uh, by far. Oh, yeah. Western hands women are even hands close. Bro, I just want a Russian woman to say my name. <laughs> I want to Thomas. say my name. Tom, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas. Bro, I, How I, did I, you I do heard... today? <laughs> <laughs> After I. Uh... After I graduate from college, I'm I'm gonna take a trip to Colombia. No, okay. it's okay. Yeah, Colombia, Colombia is where I really want to go. Yeah, uh, here are four weeks. Yeah, I mean, I hope you have a great time, bro, uh, in Colombia. We know they check for brothers there. Um, don't go too wild, though. Um, you know, we, we don't want to see many bolts, even though you're before, you're not even twenty five yet. So. <laughs> Make sure you take it easy there, bro. Um, this has been a great stream so far. Um, uh, yeah, it's been great. Almost at three hours. So let me round up. You know, we got the we got the Aruba stream and the Cuba stream tomorrow. But let me just put my Patreon in. So, brothers, we know that a few people will join the Patreon. So, you know. We've got the Cuba stream on Sunday, but I've got the exquisite version of the Cuban stream on the Patreon already. Join the Patreon uh, for the benefits I discussed before, uh, the one-to-one -one IT consultations, uh, the exquisite versions of the streams um, to get you in the Facebook group and our exclusive high-value email Discord server, um, to also uh, get you uh, more financially aware in terms of stocks and crypto, um, and all that jazz. We're going to have weekly financial live streams only for the Patreon. So press A2 if you will be joining the Patreon. Um, it's very important that you do. I want to get you brothers into IT as soon as possible. And you, you will have me as a mentor, someone who's very, very knowledgeable in, in the IT field, who can help you get into IT, help you build your CV, help you apply for jobs, etc., etc. So join that Patreon, brothers. So let me roll it back to last closing statements. Um, Sai Saichi, <clears throat> what the flip? Sai Saichi, do you have any last closing statements, brother? Uh, well, <clears throat> so here's what I would like to say. Um, as far as closing statements before we finish up today, I would like to ask you personally, IP, 
Um, from your experiences, do you find as though um, the way you dress, like when you, you know, you mentioned how you dress in your video, do you feel as though if you were a, how do I put it? If you were a, I don't want to say if you were a pookie, but if you dressed more like urban, you would generally do worse in European countries, specifically more like the Scandinavian side of things. I think um, I would attract the, the wrong ladies, right? I would probably attract the hip hop uh, loving, I only like black guys, women. You know, okay. I tend to avoid those kind of women who only have some sort of obsession for brothers, you know? It's okay yes. to like brothers, but if you only date brothers and, and obsess over black men, you've got some sort of weird twisted fantasies about uh, black men. And it, it could be racial. I you know she might expect me to be to speak a certain way, say the N word five times in one sentence. You know, I don't yep. say the N word. It's just not in my vocabulary uh, due to what my ancestors went, went through um, during slavery and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's just not something I'd say. Um, yeah, so which is why I don't really dress that hip hop way. It's gonna attract the the wrong kind of ladies, um, and people won't take you seriously if you're wearing gold chains, you're wearing Jordans, oversized t-shirt, um, baggy clothes. It's just you're gonna get laughed at, man. They're like, what, "What's this guy wearing?" Yeah, you might get a play, but no one's gonna take you seriously. Someone say, "Can you imagine half Japanese, half Russian?" Uh, the field yes. do confirm that in, in northern Japan, yes, it's out there, bro. In northern Japan, and they're checking for brothers too. But they're to very, your question, uh, they're go on, very go on. tall, long legged women, they're gorgeous. Okay, when you say it. tall, is that like five, eight, five, seven? Yeah, Six, four. yeah, five. Uh, no, I, I never met, I did meet a volleyball player that was, um, that was a uh, six foot, and she was, she was enormous. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I was um that was fascinated by her, but yeah, the the uh the Russian Japanese women are are very tall, very long legged, um like their proportions are are so unique. It's almost like anime proportions. It's um it's it's amazing. Yay! Uh, so answer <laughs> Sai Sai's question. Yeah, so that's how I feel about dressing, bro. Okay, so you pretty much the way you dress, would you say like you attract like more like classy women amongst the European diaspora? Because I noticed some of them definitely dress more on like the liberal side, but like you know tattoos and stuff like that. Once you get to like Western Europe, you know what I mean. I don't mm, like yeah. I, I don't like tattoos. Man. I, yeah, I, so I, I agree. When, when I dress, you know, in um, when I dress more intelligent, you know, more poised, uh, more serious, you know, I I attract those kind of ladies, but they're still feminine, but they dress, you know, in a feminine manner: long skirts, long hair. Uh, earrings on point, hairs on point, wearing a very stylish clothes. That's what I attract if I go out looking stylish. I also find that if you if you're that type of hip hop wearing brother, you're gonna attract the the, the tattoos, women who wear tattoos, women who have blue hair, red oh, hair, no. all that all that nonsense. And yep. you don't want to. And I, me, I don't like those kind of liberal women. They're just disgusting to me. Um, so I want to attract conservative minded, moderate women. And when I dress a certain way, I get play from them because they're thinking, oh, I've not seen a brother dress like that before. He must be interesting. You know, so that's the difference. That's the difference between a woman who has uh, an obsession with black men and a woman who has an interest in black men. Right. There's, there's two clear differences there. So, IP, in a sense, when you dress up like James Bond, you're going to get conservative minded women. women. Like, for example, Bond girls. But if you dress up like a Pookie and Ray Ray, you're going to get Nakisha, Kisha from the block, Megan Thee Stallion, Lizzo, and all of these liberal, <laughs> nonsensical women. Correct, correct. Because you think about it, the, the, woman, the, the liberal women that have, you know, blue hair, purple hair, blonde hair, they don't like conservatives. They don't, they don't like natural order of things. They're trying to break down the natural order of things. So they like, they like it when brothers just you know wear just that like crap basically you know mm. just like, a, just no. like a, a homeless a homeless idiot you know you see like like how Kanye West dresses with those stupid boots That's what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he he married a whore IP and he got divorced by a whore 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more upset that he wears those stupid boots of his divorce, to be honest. Those boots are terrible. <laughs> and that's what you... liberal women want, you know? How... And it's just madness why I'm how seeing can... how, he, how he dresses like. Go on, bro. I, I, would, I would say the same thing goes, um, goes for Japan as well. You do end up yeah. attracting a very specific type of um, Japanese woman uh, if you dress a certain way. So if you, if you dress um, as if you, were, you have been swept up by what people have placed you into in stereotypically, um, then you end up attracting people who, who only have a fetish and don't actually see you as a normal person or, or exactly. as a human being. And yeah, uh, yeah. that's, you're throwing yourself away when you do that, or you at least have the possibility of doing so. If you, if you want to dress casual, um, that's cool, but there's a way to do that. That doesn't, um, that allows you to still wear your clothes properly. I'm I mean, you, you've seen that video on YouTube of those Japanese girls that, that, put spray tan to make yourself look black. That's oh, kind of Japanese girls that you were attracted if you come out there wearing G unit sneakers, echo uh, echo oversized white tees, you know, three <laughs> four trousers, where your where your pants below your boxes, you're gonna attract those stupid mm. ass women who tan their skin, dark skin, have tattoos and uh piercings all over their faces and want to look black. Do you want that kind of uh, Japanese woman? Hell to the effing no. Hell uh, no. Hell I be, you know what I don't care about these pushy and rivers. They said here, yeah, oh, I get bad bees here. Yeah. I can get I get girls here, yeah, so it's no issue for me if I travel. Bro, if you're gonna get deported, you're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna call they're gonna, they're gonna call immigration officers like who's this guy in our in our country? Bro, like these pushy and rivers, man, they're, they're, they're just waste, man, absolute waste, man. Yeah, even Facts, including man. the Tyrones. But what I don't understand is, brother, how can brother Kanye marry a whore? Right? <laughs> what's wrong with him, IP? Well, he, <laughs> I think, what's wrong with him? I, I think I think it's important to note that there are some of us that are like genuinely, genuinely lost. And I, I think um, he Kanye, and I'm not, I'm not trying to make fun of him, but um, like, but. Kanye, he does talk about how he has like bipolar disorder and stuff like that. But he has said before that like slate, like I think he said that slavery was a a choice. Yeah. Oh, and, I got Bob. That was I, I. I can't believe he said that. Yeah, that's I that's massively he that. like he's not he's not in the right headspace. People who are in that position, they have the ability to help themselves. Um, but. There are just a lot of different things about the environment that may have never incentivized them to to get any sort of help. And it's even more so when you're just having a serious conversation about the average black man uh, in the United States. I mean, I, I don't want to say that we don't have control over our destiny, but there are a lot of people who just who are just not incentivized with it. They'll end up saying things like, yeah, I get bad bees and this is this is how I do my thing. And, and then. They're not they're not disincentivized to to act uh, not necessarily proper, but to to behave like that. We don't have to be a caricature of what people want us to be for people to, you know, think of us in, in the right way. You know, um, and I, I, I think I think it just has to do with a combination of people not being able to help themselves and and the fact that that brother's just gone. I mean, I think Kanye is just, just gone. He's them. gone, man. I mean, Brother, he's gone. You just... by the... When you, when when I saw him wearing those boots, he's gone, man. He this boot. <laughs> oh. It's just those boots that exactly. piss me off. Man. Yo, I got I got to look up these boots exactly. real quick. Bro. I can't. Bro, <laughs> I can't just see the you see, you see, you see, Brother, you see him with his gold chain, those boots, those tattoos. I'm like, who's gonna take you seriously? Like, come on now. No one takes right, you me... seriously. I think the problem with uh, Kanye, is he, he still hasn't gotten over, gotten over uh, Kim. I mean, I a man of his status, he could get any woman in the world, but he's still chasing after a 40-year-old plastic. Uh, hold on. I think, I think you guys are missing a point. You guys are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, right? Yes. Yeah. You remember what always kept Brawley in check was his father? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. When Kanye's yeah. mother died, that's when he snapped. A lot of people don't realize that. Everything changed after his mother died. Like, even if he watched his documentary, they, every, all his friends were saying if his mother was alive, she would never let him marry somebody like him. 
Like everything snapped as soon as his mother died. He changed up on his uh, his friends, uh, his family. Uh, like he just went psycho after that. All right, let me go into the next caller because this Bravo, kind of bit that. that's what make me like, laugh all night. Wait, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, bro, brother Chad, I, I, I understand that, but I, I understand that, brother Ch um, Chad. That's why Kanye needs, he needs emotional healing. That's all he needs. He needs emotional healing. He's not right in the head, brother. He needs yeah, emotional I, I healing. Would, I would say the same thing. Um, I mean, the fact, I, it's a horrible thing to lose your mother, um, but that's, that's a that's a massive spiral he went into. I mean, yeah, that's just. Oh. Um, I just hope he gets help. By the way, I did see the boots; those are horrible. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let, let me. Uh, so, was that Sai Sai Chi? You good, bro? Was that your questions answered, Sai? All of it. Uh yeah, yeah. That's all I had. Thank you, Sai. Thank you, brother. All right, let me go on to bolts. Bolts, do you have any closing statements, brother? Um, I guess my closing statements would be you just continue to level up, um, subscribe to IP's Patreon, you know, get your passport, you know, build yourself up, you know, learn new skills that will allow yourself to be able to go out and travel, you know, and it's not going to get any better here in the West. You might as well just, you, you got to get your passport. It's, it's what I have to say. Build yourself up, you know, learn new skills. Don't be the typical black man. We got to be Renaissance black men. You know, we got to be the, we got to be our best. You know what I mean? I think that's all I have to say. Yeah. Thank you very much, Bolts. Appreciate it, bro. Um, hopefully we see brothers who uh, who IPO their companies, who become CEOs, who become, uh, you know, the next the next Facebook, the next Google from this uh, international passport movement, Lord willing. Uh, Primito, do you have any closing statements, brother? All right, he's probably gone to bed, you know, happy that uh, Japanese women are checking for him. <laughs> so don't worry about your height anymore, brother. All right, thank you, Primito. Oh, he's you there, Primito? Yeah. All right, Jeff, any closing statements? Um, I just want to thank you guys for all the great advice you've given me, and I'm going to follow it. Thank you, brother. You know, no more being miserable about your heights. Can, I, that stuff. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I ask yeah. a question real quick? What, um, mm -hmm. what, was, what, what did you say your height was? I didn't, I wasn't here for that. Five foot five. 165 centimeters. Oh, you'll be all right. That's, yeah, you'll be okay in Japan because the women are deaf, uh, around five foot on average in Japan. Men yeah. are around five foot six, five seven, I believe. Uh, well, it's it's like well, it's a little bit higher now, but um, I mean, nobody's nobody's gonna be looking at you as as not approachable simply because you're five five. That's not that's not gonna be a thing. Um, I think. The average height is a little higher. I think it's like five four, um, but you don't necessarily get a whole lot of people over that average. Um, I met some women that were like five seven, five eight, um, but that wasn't a common thing. Five being five five is good. Be what right. about amongst the men? What's the average height? Uh, amongst men, um, five, five seven, seven five right? yeah. yeah five seven five eight. Um, they were. I went to a school with a whole lot of athletes, so I had like a there was a taller average at my school, but um, yeah, yeah, that's about the, the average. You'll be okay. Thank you very much. The field view is that I it? Heard. From the floor? Hmm? Is that it? Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you, Primitive. Thank you, Boats. Mm -hmm. Um, let me go to Chad the Great. Do you have any clothing statements? Um. I don't have anything crazy to say, man. Just uh, continue to self-improve, continue to live life, take care of yourselves, and get your passport, man. Um, travel the world. Uh, women like a man that, that's knowledgeable about uh, different places, different cultures, and just try to get your money up. Okay. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Chad. 
let me go let me go to uh the field view do you have any closing statements brother um yeah yeah i um i was gonna say that we should stop comparing ourselves to um to other people i know that other groups of people um i know that there's a there's a tendency for us to us to do that in order to gauge like how well we've been we've been doing how much we've grown um but when we we shouldn't be first of all we shouldn't have to compare ourselves to other groups of men but um if we keep doing that we'll end up limiting ourselves because we'll we'll end up thinking that the ceiling or the best that we can be is what exists out there in the field and we should be we should be breaking those barriers. We should be breaking those records like like Hussein Bolt. I mean, we should be running through everything, you know, um, in places where we're not held back. I think you'll you'll end up seeing us in. Uh, I, I think you'll end up seeing more black men in the near future winning in a lot of different areas. Um, just don't limit yourself by comparing yourself to other men. I think um, we can shine without anyone else. Yes, indeed. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you the field view. Looking yeah. forward to that Japanese versus Filipino stream when we're gonna represent. You're gonna represent <laughs> Team Japan. Represent, represent, da, da, <laughs> represent, represent. Shout out to Nas, um, Thomas Demihin. Do you have any uh, closing statements, brother? Sorry, bro. I'm just looking at Kanye's boots, man. <laughs> 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 Some alien, some alien-ish, man. Some alien clothing right there, man. I don't know what's wrong with that. Those boots are, those boots are worse than Armageddon. No, no, no joke, man. Just oh, trash, absolute trash, man. Uh, some Welling, Wellington boots, man. You remember in primary school we used to wear that when it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> you remember in primary school we used to wear that when it was raining. <laughs> When I first saw it, I was like, what's going on with this brother, man? Lord save the Lord. This brother is some divine intervention as soon as possible. <laughs> Ugly, man. Ugly as hell, man. Ugly oh. ass boots. Jesus Christ. Oh, gosh. Even Justin Bieber's wearing his boots. Oh, I, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that Justin Bieber thing with his wife. I was like, Justin Bieber, man, why are you wearing that ish for, man? Why are you wearing uh, that nonsense? <laughs> stupidity. <laughs> stupidity. Yeah. Stupidity. That's something I'm going to chalk it down to. Absolute stupidity. Uh, IP, thank you very much for this classic live stream, brother. Another classic. <laughs> <laughs> What's Justin Bieber wearing, man? Hey, hey, you, man. Everyone type in Justin Bieber uh, boots. Kanye West boots. Oh, boots I don't uh, what the hell are those boots? It looks like some alien, some alien fish, man. So, everyone type in Justin Bieber, Kanye West boots. Like, he's wearing some ugly ass looking boots. I don't know what that. It looks, it looks like a. It looks like vomit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even playing. It looks like vomit. What, what is that? I think we're also gonna have to <laughs> pray for uh, Ukraine. I heard. Back in the past, Ukraine used to be the spot. <laughs> hey, this brother's thinking about girls when there's a war going on. You brothers, man. Come on, man. <laughs> this brother's thinking about the, the blue-eyed, blonde-haired Beckys in Ukraine when there's a war going on. You brothers, man. God, come on, man. There's a war going on, and this is guy, pray for Ukraine, pray for the ladies, pray for the women in Ukraine. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> God, damn, damn Justin Bieber boots, man. Oh gosh. Jesus Christ. What is I don't know what wearing? Fa- if that's if that's good, I don't know what fashion is anymore, man. How can you wear that in public? <laughs> Imagine wearing that in Japan. I, I, I know oh. Japan weird, man, but the girls be like, what the hell is this man wearing? Don't don't approach me with that Harlem shit quick walk boots you're wearing, man. Get that out of my face. What 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 is those what, what is he those boots are even worse than the Kanye West boots? I'm thinking, what is that? That's some that's something you, you see if an alien invasion came through and these aliens are wearing boots like that. 
that's understandable. Yeah. But we're human beings. We, we shouldn't be wearing boots like that. Oh my What's God. he wearing? Is that some anime-ish right there, man? <laughs> the mountain boots, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and those pants as well, those, those trousers. This guy's sick. These men are sick. <sighs> oh, oh God. But shout out to Bolts for thinking about Ukraine women during a war between Russia and Ukraine. Could go up to our Beckys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's sad what's going on there for real though it, it's, yeah it's sad. It's... but the way they train africans you know not letting them pass the border you know how can yeah. you be racist during, during war i don't respect that you know how can you be racist during war you know um, yeah, that, that's one thing i don't i don't like racism and then yeah, what was it, uh, africans and indians right yeah, yeah africans cool. nah i don't respect that at all that made me angry about ukraine so they're on their own there. Uh, so what's the Batman boots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Why go for Justin Bieber's boots, man? God my, damn. My, 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 bro, the thing is, man thinks, man thinks he's swaggering with those boots. Yeah. Man thinks he's cool with those boots. You see the way he's posing? You see the yeah, he's posing with, 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 with the glasses on, man. You look, you look like a clown, man. <laughs> My, if one of my homeboys were wearing those boots, but I'd tell him, bro, you better keep five miles away from me. I can't, you can't be around me in those boots, man. <laughs> the girls, you can't be around. You can't, you can't even travel with me to Germany in those boots, man. Because I want the girls to come to me, not run away from me. And those boots are repellent to women. Don't, don't bring those boots around me, brother. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. man. Oh, I P. Thanks, man. Thanks for the live stream. It was classic. Yeah, brothers, man, forget about these Keisha's, these Becky's from the UK and the US, bro. They're gone. They're, they're not getting married. They're forever single. So why even bother with them? They're dateable. They're masculine. They're completely rude, completely disrespectful. And they're, they're liberal Jezebel 304s. Forget about them. Foreign women of the that, future. Thank you, IP. Pookie Ray Ray have them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're yeah, yeah. Very, uh, hey, <laughs> someone said uh, he can walk over lava of those boots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, we've, we've been clouded too much, man. It's 5 30 a.m. in the UK. I need to go to bed, man. And uh, uh, those boots, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't want to have any nightmares in those boots because they're actually scary. So. Hey, I'd, be imagine, I'd be imagine you wake up yet and Connie's, Connie's beside you. Hey, brother, here's my boots. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- Bro, I'll be like, what? I'll be out, that, I'll be out the room as soon as possible. Like, keep those boots away from me, brother. You must be mad. You won't. You won't see me in those boots. Those are the ugliest things I've ever seen. <sighs> I'd be thanks for the live stream, bro. Another classic. Thanks. Keep up the great work, bro. Hey, hey chaos media. You. I'm thinking about talking to some Japanese girls with Kanye boots on. <laughs> oh my <laughs> no. gosh. Hey, the field view. Let me bring him back in. Well, what's your thoughts about that, bro? If, if if you wear those Kanye Justin Bieber boots around Japanese ladies, I swear they want they'll never touch you again, right? Yeah, they would probably they would probably clown you back to back to America. I don't know. I, I <laughs> like I, they they look so goofy. They got no definition. They look like an elephant foot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like a hoof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like why does it look? Why does it look like that, bro? Like why does it look like that? That's embarrassing. <laughs> and he just and he just chilling with it. Like he down smooth. Like I don't understand why he. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, these men are sick in the head, man. These celebrities, they're actually sick. They're, they're, they're out of touch with reality because there's no way someone would, would actually wake up one morning and think, hey, these boots look good with this outfit. Let me, let me, walk, out, let me walk out with it at my household. Oh, nah, they, these men are sick in the head. I That's wish what? I was in that design meeting. They're just like, you know, let's, oh, let's, make, it look, let, let's, let's make it look like he just stepped in some garbage. 
<laughs> man, I said elephant boots, elephant boots, man. Yo, it's, it, it looks like elephant garbage, feet. Garbage. Like it looks garbage. Like, like I, I, I don't know. I would never wake up in the morning and be like, yeah, I want my feet to look like some elephant hooves. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm. Remind me to watch a film before going to bed, so I don't have nightmares over those boots because okay. uh, that cannot be the last thing I see. Before watch back, watch back to the future, boy. Watch back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm on. I'm on a Daily Mail right now, and they're clowning him. They're like, it's, it's like he's got two two club feet. <laughs> 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 Someone said elephant oh. feet, like uh, um, the field field said. Yeah, um, those boots are ugly as hell. Ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look, it looks like he's. <laughs> His face backwards. <laughs> oh, man. It does. It does. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh. All right. Um, all right. Thank you, brothers. Uh, it's been a great stream. I'm going to end this stream. I, I will see you, brothers, on um, the, the Aruba stream tomorrow, which should be very interesting. We've got the Kubo stream on Sunday. And don't forget to join the Patreon, brothers. So here's a link to it one more time. So here's a link to my social media. Um, the Facebook group. We also have the Instagram as well. Um, we also the Twitter as well. We've got the Instagram as well. Others, here it is. Um, apologies for the swearing as well. It's just uh, it got a bit too funny. It's just when you see when you see boots like that, it's, it's you're thinking this can't be real life. Um, hashtag as well there brothers and don't forget to join the patreon so when i wake up later on today i should see at least 10 new patreon members ready to join ready to get the it knowledge ready to get more background intel uh, on countries explicit versions how women are in the bedroom which is very important for brothers to know you get the girl but you keep her by your bedroom performance which is very important how you how you work in bed and that's what the patreon's for as well IT one-to-one -one consultations that get you into IT. Um, let's get you in a Facebook group, Discord server, and the financial streams only for the Patreon members. So I will see you brothers uh, tomorrow and have a, a great weekend, brothers. International Passport.